But yes. Uh, I think I need to scoot over, actually. I'm too far. There we go. Sorry. <laughs> Oh, yeah! I feel so bad for Vesper. She got a body pillow. And so she wanted a pillowcase for it. And she was like, I'll get a pillowcase of a VTuber that I watch. And it finally arrived. It had been ordered, like, several months back. It was supposed to be of a VTuber named Sens. But she got a completely different VTuber. <laughs> and it was- it wasn't even another one that she watched. <laughs> it was like, oh no! Hello, days! Here we go. Oh, we have some strolls. But yes, we are on the final night of the Inaba Pride exhibit. Was it as- <laughs> no, I do not have a body pillow. <laughs> Um, I think it was of, like, a, a slime girl VTuber? I looked at it and I'm like, okay, yeah, she's cute, but... <laughs> I don't- that's not what she ordered, so we're gonna... <laughs> Taki McCarlin. Ah! <laughs> I've been thinking about merch, but I also don't want it to be, like, super, like, cheap or whatever. You know? I want it to be- I want it to be something, subs like, substantial, because, like, I've talked about it with somebody else who does their own merch, where they're like, yeah, I rarely change out what merch I have, because it's like... You want it to look good, and also, it's like the- the duality of you want it to look good while you also want it to be something that nobody has to like specifically recognize like it would be a shirt that a normal person could wear i don't even know i mean it would be my own art that would that would be the only condition is, is like i would like it to be my own art or at least one of like vesper or fisk's art if i couldn't get it <laughs> designed into no, that's not what I mean! What I mean is, is like, it would be something where... You could wear it without having to know who it was. <laughs> I didn't mean it like that! <laughs> and I don't want it to be of, like, a game property that I've played, mostly because copyrights and things like that. Like, Personathon would be a really cool idea, however, Persona belongs to Atlas, not me. <laughs> You'd wear that shirt to work? <laughs> Thank you. That makes me feel better. <laughs> Atlas cease and desist for Goblin Ken shirt. Yeah, that was the thing, that was one of the ones that I thought about, of like, just like a, a better drawn version of Goblin Ken with the with the with the uh, level up quote, but I was like, nah, that's that's other than turning him into a goblin. That's still an Atlas character. <laughs> no, it'd have to be of me or of my dog. I know there are no. I know there's at least one person in here who would. Kill a man for a for a shirt with Val on it. <laughs> At least one person. <laughs> oh. See, my point my point exactly. <laughs> But yeah. Oh, you want me to throw this? Speaking of. Ah.
You can give it to me? Yes. Not yet. He's not going to give it to me yet. How's the game audio, by the way? Is good? Good. Hello, game guy. But yeah, we should probably start by doing these strolls. Nice. Nice. Getting multiple accounts of it sounding good is good. We're at negative 25 decibels. Unlike Wednesday, where I had to be 3.5 for the game audio, because something's going on when heart projects parsec. It just makes the game so much quieter. Strolls, or rather stroll. Yes, there's a singular stroll. For the final guardian. Seems her companions have gathered for no specific reason. Oh, oh, Zika. We were just chatting. Seems like we're in the final stretch. The atmosphere of this festival sure has changed. Uh... Ray. Do I have to go to... Ray-chan, if you're scared, then do you want to wait here? Oh no. Miss <laughs> you. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> that one was probably the most dramatic of sneezes I've done on stream. <laughs> Welcome, chat. Okay, real quick because I need to I need to know what we're referring to. It is anime pillow. Okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> It'd probably be something super normal, too. You know, like, how some people try to make the the body pillows kind of se <laughs> kind of sexy? It'd just be like... So, yeah, something totally normal and non-lewd. Fits, fits the ace goals, honestly. We're just hanging out. It's a slumber party. Sorry, you all need to see this. <laughs> you all need to see this. I had to zoom in, else you'd see that. I need to vacuum my floor, and you can still see, because the culprit is the focal point of this shot. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and so that way the YouTube people can see. <laughs> Why is it so zoomed in? What the fuck? <laughs> There you go. <laughs> yes, yes. And then the- look at that face. Look at that face. The baby, yes. <laughs> the baby. He is. 
We love him. Rachel, if you're scared, then do you want to wait here? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Can't, Ray. You need to come with us. Sen! If you wish to leave this place, then you must move forward. Hey, senpai. Be careful, Senpai. I sensed a powerful presence up ahead. Could it be? It feels a bit different from the stuff we faced so far. Different how? Well, I can't quite put my finger on it. Okay. It might mean the next guardian is different from the rest somehow. Let's be careful. Yeah. yeah. We should stock up on supplies and make sure we didn't forget to do anything. <laughs> Poor Marusan is fired up as well. I'm 200% fired up too! I'll use 100% getting there and 100% getting back. That makes 200%. <laughs> Ooh, sounds like we can really count on you, Teddy. Leave it to For me. Ray I'll be glad to lend a helping paw or two. But 100% for going and 100% for coming back adds up to 200%. How was this percentage calculated? <laughs> I'm just going with the flow. That's the important for <laughs> that's important for success. Well, better to be enthusiastic about it than not wanting to do it at all. <sighs> it will be over with the next one. The ceremonies will truly end. Um. Zen? That's the feeling I have. <laughs> I'll do my best to back you all up, too. I can't wait to help. <laughs> Dog! Oh, he's so cute! Yeah, we'll need you out there. <laughs> Got it. Don't push yourself too hard, senpai. But make sure you do your best anyway. Yeah. Uh-huh. Your companions resolve the set as the final battle approaches. You gotta give it to me. Yes. Or you took it away. Make sure just in case we don't have any well, quests. None to take, none to report. Prototype arrow, that's what I forgot. Yeah, we gotta do that. Luckily, I don't think I need to take anybody specifically with me. So we could get that out of the way. Huh. Welcome. Look at that money. We actually ended a stream the other day with money. Can you believe it? Incredible. Hopefully I'm not gonna need any... ...items. I'm gonna take this request as an opportunity to share something. Uh, <laughs> that's something being- something that I can't afford, but oh my god, it's cool. I was looking for- I would like to have more- more, um, figurines, because I've only had one for the longest time, and I finally have three? And it feels good, and I was like, I kinda want another one. But I didn't really know what one to, like, get. And Hart had since then shown me... Ami Ami. Southwest Room. Uh, I think I know where it wants me to go. And there is a- apparently this came out just last year. There's this huge, and by huge I mean a one-eighth scale, of Thanatos. But every single listing on him is used. Granted, I don't really care so long as it's in a good quality. But even the ones that are used are like $300. <laughs> Hello. 
Damn, there's an FOE over there. There's still more. Wait. There's three of them, but they are Oh, I know scary. where it actually wants me to go. That's so much. Come yeah, on. it is. Oh, no. Ah, shit. I blanked and forgot why Nauta was in the party. <laughs> It is. It is a lot. But also, it looks so cool. That one is weak to darkness. Let's keep our cool. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Is there a Neko Shogun? I fucking wish. I would actually not mind a Neko Shogun. Even if it was like just a little guy. Because <laughs> like it would match the fact that he's a little guy. You charge for any followings, Jesus. No! Okay, so this request requires me to hold the Holy Flame. But the room that it wants me to investigate is where this FOE is. So this is gonna be annoying. Shall we go then? What the? Ah! It was serious about the FOEs here turning into the ones that carry those portable shrines. Hmm, this will be quite troublesome. When the fire is lit, those FOEs move twice as fast as they usually do. But, but without the fire, we won't be able to find Theo's arrows. For crying out loud. Damn it. Where the hell they get that thing anyway? However... We've just gotta do it. Come on, let's find the 66 arrow of his. It's in your hands. Let's walk around the area that the torch is lighting. Make sure we keep wary of our surroundings. Watch out for that FOE! Got your back. Let's... <laughs> Akiko is talking to himself. <laughs> Are there any ca no come on, had to put your why would you put it specifically in your bathroom? <laughs> ah, this is Theodore Mark sixty four. Is that darn? So Shoot. <laughs> Let's go. Because that's where Nekomata hangs out. Oh, you're right! <laughs> How could I have forgotten? <laughs> I didn't even think about that! Stay on your guard. A cake instead of a piece. <gasps> huh. Huh. <laughs> Mr. Half Cake. What? <sighs> For crying out loud. Let's get this over with. But don't tell Fisker best for just set up the figurine and leave. <laughs> what? Sixty-five. <laughs> this should be it. Begin. 
No, I'll go next. <laughs> no way. What? <laughs> Dumbass. Why don't we all just work together instead of having this strongman contest? I agree. However. Does it matter? Calm down. There's a jar of pickles that won't open back at the dorms. We can settle our dispute with that. <laughs> Got it. Oh, it's... Hello, crimp. <sighs> We're doing a request. It seems the two of them have finished trying to outdo each other for now. Let's go. Time for some action. Alright, let's go. Nice, how was that going? Oh, shoot. <laughs> oh, it crashed! That's- I'm so sorry to hear that! I should be reading this, but I'm not. It's almost weirder because it's so quiet. <laughs> Got the arrow though. Hey, we got it. <laughs> Guess that was a whole cake. Good grief. <laughs> yeah. Fantastic, let us leave. <laughs> ah, that's actually nice of the devs to be like, yeah, it saves where you are. Like, automatically, so unless you die, it's like, ah, yes, you can just resume where you left off. Yeah, that's cool. Welcome. Alright, request, report. I get an arrow that I can sell. This quest is the best of me. I apologize for the wind. Dun, dun, dun. Here you go. Thank you very much. Please wait a moment. <gasps> Cupcakes. Yes. Unless you leave the run and return in the middle of it, you have to redo the entire floor. I mean, it's better than redoing the whole thing, because it may as well be a new run. And that just would hurt. Yeah. <laughs> Alright. Nice. <laughs> the penetrative ability of this arrow. If I had any pickles. Is there some kind of sandwich festival going on in the labyrinth? No. <laughs> Don't worry about it, Theo. It's fine. Please come again. All right. Oh, interesting. You lost a, uh, that sounds like, well, that, honestly, that sounds like a lot of different road likes, but what the one that comes to mind immediately is like Spelunky. Final boss, question mark. And we change up the equipment. You played Splunky, beat the first area, and had enough. I, I roguelike games are not for everyone. I can enjoy them a fair amount, but I'm not like 
crazy about them. You know? It's not my favorite genre, but I've played a few on stream before. Wizard of Legend is one such. It's not that long. Uh, and roguelikes have a fun gameplay loop of just, like, a randomly generated dungeon every floor with a boss at the end. Oh, that one's- that one's pretty good. And also just because the spells are fun. <laughs> but I know there's, like, others that I've seen that go a bit further with it. Okay, so I need... Let me look at Mitsuru. Because we're on our way to the the final dungeon, and she doesn't have anything besides Megidola in terms of skill add-ons. So I'm going to look up right now. I'm going to look up right this instant. You can stop and strategize. That's, that's nice. There are a few that have, like, a you've been on this floor too long. Time to send in something that'll just kill you unless you leave. I don't know if Isaac has one of those, but I know Spelunky does. If you stay on, like, a certain segment too long, a, a ghost chases you. Or you can break the urn and have it happen sooner, because, ha... Although, I think that's Spunky too. I don't know if it's the same as the first one. So let me look up Persona Q skill cards. And find what we're looking for for our dear friend Mitsuru. What we want is magic-related stuff. Specifically something to go along with punishment. So she needs a bind skill, like Salome's Kiss. But I don't think she learns that naturally, and I don't think that's a skill card. <laughs> I mean, she clearly doesn't, because she would have learned it by now. We might... Critical Eye wouldn't hurt. That would help, because she could set up for her team if she had that. But I want I want to see if I can find something. I mean, there's, like, Silence Circle. To give her Circle Recovery. Silence circle, lethargy circle. Let's see if she can't get Salome's kiss. Because that would be a really good one for her to have if I could. If not, I'd have to give her a, a sub persona with it. Kiss is not a thing that you can teach somebody. So. Ooh. Maybe get rid of Megidola and give her. Okay, so let's do. Let's give her Lethargy Circle and uh, Magic Bind. So Lethargy Circle is. Hobblesize. Or I don't know how to pronounce it, but I'm gonna assume it's it's Pavel Sag. Welcome blah, 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 blah. To the, the Scorpion Man, <laughs> who is level 
What level is he? Does it tell me? No. <laughs> but he's not that strong. I know he's like level 40 something. Why not give her Meggy Dolon? Um, that could also work. <laughs> Okay, there he is. And he starts off with it, so it's cheap. Okay, lethargy circle, and then... What is it called? I saw it earlier. It was called... Uh... Demon Scythe or something like that? Death Scythe, which is Chernabog. Where is Chernabog? We had him earlier, too, which sucks. There he is. Uh, he needs to learn it first. So that's two skills. And yeah, let's see. Meggy Dolon. Where... Who is the earliest one that can teach her that? Because I don't want to pull it off of something that's super expensive to summon. Meggy Do is off of Mithra. Meggy Dola we got was free, but we can pull it off of a Persona if we wanted. But I need to find... Um... I bet I, I know who it's gonna be. I know who it's gonna be. But I wanna be sure. It's Vishnu. That's not a cheap persona. <laughs> So that's three skills. Let's see if we can grab some of the, at least one of them. <laughs> Just not enough, and he needs to level up for Death Scythe. I was tempted to do immunity buffer. You know, immunity buffer wouldn't be bad. <laughs> for a number of things. <laughs> but, uh... Yeah, time to money grind. Woo! Um, so she's gonna get... Maggie Dola is gonna replace Maggie Dola. So there's still one more ability that would be good for her. Maybe. We could give her another. Ah! Belphegor. Binding hands. Raises chance of causing binds. There we go. That's, that's the fourth skill that she's going to get. Do I have Belphegor? I think I do. Or I don't? Hello? <laughs> oh, there he is. <laughs> yeah, no, she has mind charge innately, so we don't need to worry about that. So there we go. What percentage does she have on right now? She has... Uh, that one. <laughs> A little. A little. This is... 
to make sure when I do fusions, I don't do this on... I don't get rid of these guys on accident. <laughs> also, I think because they have growth 3, those Persona may actually get EXP, which would be nice. Or some people have growth 3, some have growth 2. Maybe I should put one of them on Nauta, then. Who needs it? Who's closest to leveling up? Chernabog. Yeah, give it to Nauto. There we go. Somebody else has growth three or two, right? You have it. Okay, yeah, yeah. That makes sense. <laughs> That's logical. Uh, you can have... Well, Vishnu doesn't need it, so you can have Balfacore. <laughs> But yeah, there's our plan for Mitsuru. So now, we go into the labyrinth, and we finish this labyrinth. Because I don't need Mitsuru to have all those skills right now. I don't think she's going to be needing to use them much. wrong. Let's go. Make her as busted as possible. Yes, well, welcome to what I've been doing <laughs> these past streams. There it is. The copper box rests on a pedestal that looks like an altar. Stay away. Huh? You can't have this. You can't. Uh, uh Ray-chan? No, no! What's going on? It might be like what happened to us. If it is, then that's Ray-chan's shadow. What? The part of you that you deny and you don't want to admit, it takes form as a shadow. You have to face your shadow and accept that part of yourself. That's how we got our personas. Then, does this mean Ray will also become a persona user? I don't know about that. All I can say is that's how it went for us. Also, accepting yourself isn't as easy as it sounds. It's a side of you that you hid and pretend it didn't exist. I don't think anyone can easily accept that. That's why you gotta let the shadow say its piece, and let it run wild a bit. I don't think you can find the strength to accept that part of you until you do. What does Raychan want to say? Why? Why was I born? Why was I even born? Who is this girl? What's going on? Zen! She's scaring me! I'm scared! Hey, can we go back? Can we please go back? Ray. No. We're not going back. Don't go near. going on but looks like we gotta step up <laughs> don't worry Ray chan we deal with stuff like this all the time hang in there 
We're here with you. All right. Let's go. Oh, look, yeah, it's Vesper. Down first. Exterminating She's shadows not a rabbit. <laughs> but... Okay. Time to set up. Go for it. And you don't do anything. Oh my god, I never read that comment. I'm so sorry. My brain is so slow today. Help. <laughs> well, time to see if we need to do even anything. I've done it before, but the real power comes from a bit more setup than that. We've seen it in action, though. <laughs> I don't think I need to do the Link thing, so I may as well, if Shinji doesn't kill it right here. <laughs> We shall see, though. It's got more HP than the last handful of bosses. That's for sure. <laughs> yes, it's time for sure, Tensei. You just heal. Oh god. <laughs> it's still alive. It had more HP than that. It's got a lot of HP. Okay. He's using the last of that to keep rise. Um. Probably pull off a light wave. Yeah. Irama. Mode. Ah! Crush him, oh my god, he crit. As well, do it again. The 
this may help, actually. <sighs> do I flame link or do I... I think we flame link. Also, Toby is really entertaining to see with Shura Tensei Argia, but... Well... A lot of them may miss. She didn't need to set up Death Chaser. Yeah, <laughs> she didn't even get to use it. Oh yeah, I forgot. It's two phases! <laughs> Game over. Oh shit, I take that back. Yeah, I completely forgot that it did that. Alright, she still has Heat Razor. She lost her Dragon Cry, so she's probably gonna hustle Toby. Uh, everyone else just go for it. And you heal her. <laughs> Oh wait, he moves faster than her now. Again, shit. Oops. My bad. I'm still thinking about as if she had Dragon Cry on. Alright, let's see how many land. All of them. Now it's notary came over. <laughs> Exiting battle mode. Oh my god. This guy's growing too. Oh god. Mm. Goodbye and shot. Oh my god, he just learns all the spread buffs. How's my persona? Cool. Hmm. You don't need that. Rachan, could that girl be another part of you? There are different sides to people. Everyone has some things about them that they don't want to face or admit. If it's all right with you, will you talk to us? Can't we share in whatever burden it is you're carrying? I... I don't know. That thing... it's not me! Rayson. Huh? <gasps> Wait! <laughs> what is it? Zen pulled something out from the box enshrined further within the room. A message card. Please rest in peace. That sounds kind of... There are different sides to people. 
That must be true. She's so upset that she didn't react to being called Raisin. But even with that in mind, some things cannot be accepted. <laughs> Ray, I... I remember everything now. Welcome back, Crimp. Nice! I am Kronos. He who has dominion over time. I came here to take you away. I don't know. I don't know anything. You were always frightened of the labyrinths. You didn't dare go near them until they came. What you didn't want to brush up against was the truth hidden in the depths of the labyrinths. But you wanted to be with them. You entered the labyrinths you hated so much to stay with them. Because you wished to be just like them. You wanted to return to where they came from. Oh. But you can't. You're different from them. No! I'm no different! I was mistaken then. You have to come with me. going to restore your memories. Ray, I'm sorry. <gasps> what? What was I? Your time has come. Come with me, Ray. No! Hey, what's all this stuff about coming and going? I mean, you're upsetting her. Ray is... Don't! Ray cannot stay here. In fact, she can't stay anywhere. The truth is... Ray is dead. No! Ray! Ray son! You chased Ray and Zen to the foot of the clock tower. Ray. <laughs> hey, you said a moment ago that Ray Chun is dead. What do you mean by that? This is a haven in the rift. It is linked to the collective unconsciousness. During the short moment after Ray died and her soul was fading, she wandered here. That's why I came. To tell her that her time had come to an end. No. You're lying. Ray, your memories should have returned. There's nothing to be scared of. I'll be with you. I'm not scared to die. I'm scared that I had nothing. I'm scared I was born and I died for nothing. Why was I born? My whole life was suffering and envy. I couldn't even go to school. It would be fine if there was any meaning to all that. If there was a point, I'd be okay with it. But if there was no point, I can't accept it! For me to die like that! Then this is the end! I haven't even done anything! I haven't found anything! Ray's small shoulders tremble as she begins to cry.
Apocalypse uses Canon Answer. It may as well be. I was like, what do I say? Last time I think I said it happens to everyone. And then she said, and then she said, she's, you don't understand, at least you're still alive. And that being directed at the Persona 3 protagonist in particular was kind of, yeah. <laughs> ah. This doesn't make sense. Why would something like this appear? I almost dropped something, but don't worry, I caught it. Was that Rachon's shadow? No. Perhaps the shadows here have gone berserk. They may be trying to prevent me from taking Ray away. It was true at the time. <laughs> that being directed at either Shinji or the Persona 3 protagonist is like, <laughs> Yeah, they were alive. They are alive when she says it to them, but it's like, <laughs> Taking Rachon? They don't want to let go of this place. If Ray and I leave, it will disappear. So to prevent that... But... How can ordinary shadows have this kind of power? This world will disappear? Is that it's because Rachon created it? No, that's terrible! Didn't you say before that Rachon created the school? No, I created it. I had only remembered some of the details at that time. In actuality, I used my powers to base this place on Ray's memories. Her memories? Zen-san, won't you tell us everything about you and Ray-san? And how we may save her? Yes. My true name is Kronos. I am one of those beings you refer to as death. I had come to take away a girl whose life had ended. That girl was Rei. My duty was to lead her to where all life returns. Twelve years ago, a haven in the rift. Don't we fight death later? We fight death multiple uh, times, across every game, honestly. Where? Why? Am I? Eric was Kronos all along. <laughs> My name is Kronos. An aspect of death. Death? There are multiple aspects, I suppose. Also, now that I've... Now that I'm like thinking about it, or perhaps I may have said this before and I just don't Thus remember. You must come with me. This place is literally based off of, or at least it's a desert. It's the sands of time or whatever. The thing, the answer, you know what I'm referring to. There just aren't any doors around. <laughs> there is nothing that can overturn this decision. That is all. That sounds familiar. <laughs> I died. That is correct. Your time has come. None can escape this fate. Are you not going to say anything? Most humans argue bitterly at this point. Those who don't typically welcome me. And Mix is the extinction aspect, and Erebus is the, I don't know, the other aspect. <laughs> the other one that's the same. <laughs> and the Reaper is just cool. <laughs> the cool aspect of death. <laughs> That doesn't sound right. <coughs> Why are you not saying anything? What is this human? The 
There's a guy who wears a bag over his head and shoots you. <laughs> yeah! In Persona 3 and, I think, Persona 5, right? They say, like, I can sense it. Death! Then the Reaper shows up. Then you hasso Toby it to death. <laughs> if you're playing Five Royals, specifically. In front of the clock tower. Ray remained silent. Thinking back, she was in utter despair. So deep that she could not cry. Or even scream. But I couldn't understand that at the time. I took an interest in her. And had an idea. I wondered if I could make this girl who had fallen silent speak. That was all. It was just an idle means of killing time. I expended a fraction of my power just for that purpose. A haven in the rift. I created this based on your memories. Yasogami High. <laughs> The place you dream that's a little messed up bro i think this is just an example showcasing because if you think about it after this and before they're all like this Yasugami. hi they do not care about humans on a personal level they're just kind of like huh this is kind of interesting let's mess around with this for a little bit it's not very it's not inaccurate <laughs> i guess you could say You finally opened your mouth. At least it's not like Enlil, where she's like, I'm doing this for the benefit of humans. <laughs> Hello, Theta. This is the school I was supposed to attend. I heard its bell from my hospital room. I imagine that there must be a large- Zen threatened to shoot us every time we did anything. Against Ray. He's very protective of her. I heard the bell every single day, and I'd hear the laughter of everyone who attended school there, too. I dreamed of this place. I wish to come here someday. I wish to make tons of friends. Now, I'm finally here. Look, Mr. Death, these are my treasures. They were probably put in with me into my casket. A stuffed rabbit. Isn't he cute? He's from a picture book. A nurse made these clothes for him. And this is a ring. When I was little, my mom bought it for me at a festival. She said I would have a beautiful wedding. I asked if Prince Charming would come. And she said he would. My mom disappeared after that. Said she didn't want me. Maybe she shouldn't have given birth to me. My name's Nico. The nurse guessed it's because my mom wanted me to smile and be happy, but that's not it. I was named Nico because I was the second child. My mom said so. That's all it means. See this? It's my hair. The nurse kept a bit of it when it was still long and pretty, she gave it to me after all my hair got shaved off, but it didn't cheer me up much. I yelled, why would you do this to me? I cried and got angry, but I couldn't throw it away. You're holding one more thing. What's this? A letter? I didn't know about this one. It says, please rest in peace. Oh, it's from the girl in the bed next to me. She was three years older than me. Her name was Yuki-chan. She was really pretty and nice and always comforted me when I cried. Yuki-chan never cried. She'd smile even after the painful tests. I really looked up to her. She... She probably was? It's not specified, but the, the hint 
that we kind of completely mess missed entirely is in the third labyrinth in the various stages against the doctor boss, the doctor guardian. He talks about going into an operation and her not being not not to worry about it, but it sounds like because when he gets to critical health, he, he says something along the lines of like we're losing the patient. It's that she she died during an operation. But she was discharged from the hospital. She sent a lot of letters. They'd say things like, I'm doing well. You can do it, Nico-chan. I thought I did my best. But I wonder if I had to try harder. <laughs> but it could have been a, a number of things. Pertaining, it could have been any. It could have been any type of disease correlating to the brain that would have required a surgery that would have required her to lose her hair. But the game itself does not specify specifically which one it was. In peace. That's so cruel. When she's still alive, I bet. I bet she's laughing, happy to be alive. It's not fair! Why only me? Why was I born? Why why did I have to be born? I have nothing. No friends, no parents, not even my health. I prayed to God every day, and not one prayer was granted. Why did I exist? What was the point of my life? Thank you, Mr. Dead, for showing me this place. But I didn't want to see it. Everyone else gets to come here every day. But I... I'm gonna die alone. This is too cruel. That's enough. I've had enough! Hurry up and kill me! Take me away right now! I don't want to see this anymore! And then she tried to gouge out her own eyes. Her eyes? In death, one is bodiless, but the soul can still be harmed. Hers was meant to disappear. But still, I shielded her eyes in surprise and stole away her memories. that comes to mind specifically in Japan as to why that would be a, a hard topic to talk about is that um, there's a song that I that I I've heard it's called uh, I believe it's called Underground that's done by uh, Eve uh, and it basically talks about Maybe not exactly the same reasons, but a similar scenario in which a particularly young individual uh, has cancer. And it's because of the visual imagery in the music video, it's implied that it was a develop it was developed because of the events of World War II, specifically dealing with the atomic bombs. And it's it is true. Like, they kind of couldn't just abandon the place, and people didn't know anything about radiation poisoning at the time. So there's... There is not an insignificant number of people who develop various cancers because of either their proximity or hereditary developments because of family members who had lived in close proximity or within the cities that were struck. And a lot of people don't like to talk about it. And that was kind of what the song was trying to convey, of like, 
it should be mentioned, because it's not fair to the people who are being brushed under the rug as like, oh, we, we don't really want to talk about this, we're going to pretend it doesn't happen. But yeah, it's also because even though she was a high school student when she- or was going to be a high school student when she passed, she still is... not. <laughs> She's not an adult, she is a child, and it's not fun to talk about. I'm... <sighs> huh? My name... what was it? It's a good song, by the way. Song itself. And yes, also Grave of the Fireflies. That's another that's another movie that talks about it. But that one's the Is Grave of the Fireflies the one that's more like immediate afterwards? I don't remember, it's been a while. My name. Your name is Miko. Nico? No. Let's say it's something else. Something you'd like more. What was wrong? You're trembling. Are you scared? Scared? Don't worry, I'm here with you. You're not alone. Yes. I will ensure that you are also not alone. Always. It's the most beautiful movie that I never want to see again. Yeah, those that's what those types of movies tend to do. You can call me Zin. Zin? It means one who lives with you. Zin. How do you write that? Right? Um, I'll make it Zen. That means nice, because you're a good person. Good person. Zen, do you not like it? It will do. Thank you. Your name is Philae. Philae? Philae. Philae. It's hard. Philae. He. Philae. Oh, I said it! Fi. Ray. Is Ray okay? So are Zen and Ray. <laughs> it's nice to meet you, Zen. Yes. Zen? What's wrong? Are you hurt somewhere? Please don't cry. <gasps> so sorry. Ray. I don't know how to describe what took place within me at that moment. If I had been possessed of a heart, I would have wanted to tear it out and crush it. It was that intense. A person can never come back to life. And yet you granted Raison's wish that she had while she was still clinging to life. It's as if you prepared a banquet for a starving man and then forbade them to eat it. What you did may have been cruelty on that level. Yes. I hurt her. And not only that, I stole her memories based on a twinge of some emotion. I... hid my mistake. <sighs> time flows and swallows everything. Kronos obeys time and is a harbinger of the ends of time. I am Kronos. I cannot turn my back on that duty. But at the very least, at the very least, I wished to give her the answer she longed for. I wanted to give her the reason for why she lived, that she wanted so desperately. But I couldn't figure it out. I knew no life, nor death, nor time. I didn't even have a heart. I didn't have a single word of comfort to give her. That's why I suspended things. You chose not to take her away by force. Yes. 
I left my powers as Kronos to a split half of myself and hid it in this clock tower. I sealed my memories as well and hid them in a number of rooms in this school. Along with Ray's things, those rooms eventually became labyrinths to prevent the truths within them from being discovered. Keith Silverstein. The guardians in their depths also sprung from Silverstein. Ray, so as not to let anyone at those truths. It's one of those spellings <laughs> where you're like not 100% sure unless they say it aloud. So that's where the labyrinths and the guardians came from. But weren't Raychan's memories gone by then? To forget something means to seal one's memories deep below the conscious mind. True. Ray remembers nothing. But in her unconscious, she was always frightened of the truth. Ray most likely ate so much because she wanted to live. She yearned for life. That's why she was eating all those delicious things? Oh, Ray John. I locked it all away. Averting my eyes from the truth and decided to spend a long peaceful time here with Ray It would last until I could tell her why she had lived It, it was I who trapped Ray here For my own selfish reasons So that's what happened I'm sorry to have dragged you all into this. You heard the bell earlier. Yes The fourth lock should be released now you can return to whence you came. Return? This place is unstable. It will vanish along with Ray, its master. If you didn't want to see it, you shouldn't have put the points in for the channel points redeem. That's all I'm saying. You should go back while you still can. But what are you going to do? I'll go to Ray. I promised to be with her. And I can't leave that girl alone. You're planning on going alone? There's a ton of shadows inside this clock tower. The spider thing that captured Raychon at the top is a shadow too. Do you really think you can charge in alone and save her? <sighs> I have to. That ain't what we were hoping to hear. <laughs> I want to save Raychon too! We all feel the same. We can't leave Raysan like this. Are you planning to ignore our feelings on this, Zensan? That's right! Aren't we companions? I love four. I love Q. One's whole reason why they stay. I, I, I already said this before. I'm glad Q2 is different. But it's so on the nosely similar to fives. <laughs> like, oh, if we leave this god to their own devices, it'll spread into the real world, and then we'll be screwed, so we kind of have to stay. It's like, hmm. <laughs> what a noble reason. <laughs> you said I would extend the goal if it wasn't met. This is true. This is very true. I also said that I wouldn't play this game until after Persona Thon had ended. Q2 came before Royal. Yeah, same thing though. The oh with Yaldabaoth. Oh, we can't leave this alone. He's gonna ruin everything. And then our world's gonna be screwy, and we don't like that. <laughs> In fact, that's literally every single plot point with five characters involved. <laughs> Strikers was just the best iteration of it. <laughs> Companions. I still really liked Q2. Don't don't get me wrong. I've enjoyed playing the Persona 5 content that is Persona 5 related. <laughs> just you can't you can't just play all those games and go, ah, yes, very unique experience, especially the final boss. <laughs> just not five itself. <laughs> I 
Uh, yes, I have to. I now have to say every official thing that pertained to Persona 5. As enjoyable as April 1st stream was, that was a cursed piece of media. Think about how awkward we feel from suddenly finding out she's dead. It makes us want to drag you to her if we have to, so you can put an end to all this. It was shorter than Royal, this is true. And we also didn't get every ending, because we didn't want to see every ending. Will you come with me? Of course. April 1st never happened. <laughs> Thank goodness. Well, it's decided. Let's head back to make sure we're totally ready, and then start fresh. We'll do this together. Right. The clock tower has undergone a grotesque transformation. At its summit is Ray, trapped within a spider-like shadow. You restrain your anxious, anxious heart and head back into the school for now. All the locks have been released, and the doors are open. You may now return to the worlds from which you originally came. I forgot that they this used the red stripes to my because world. And this I guess Magatsu Inaba. Lead to my guests. The green makes sense. The dark hour makes everything green. It's possible for you to return to your worlds right now. Will you? We're going to save Ray. You've traversed the labyrinths this far to open these doors and return to your homes. But you have no intention of going back yet. I knew that you would say so. Why wouldn't P4 door be yellow? Probably because... Um... The only place that's actually ever really yellow, besides Kanji's dungeon, is the back lot. But, like... Yeah, it is kind of weird that they used that effect, and then they used it again in Persona 5. <laughs> but it was more everywhere in Persona 5. <laughs> we wish to remain here and see where your journey leads to as well. <laughs> There's something I'd like to talk to you about. But then again, blue is really the theme of Persona 3, but the dark hour, was, everything was green. <laughs> Excuse me, but will the rest of you please step out for a moment? Oh, Th then why don't we go find something? <laughs> One else more to do? thing, five stole the color red. <laughs> Let's rest up and restore our spirits. <laughs> yes, their claiming red as a color did not exist before Persona Five. <laughs> Uh, your companions leave, and you find yourself alone with Margaret. I overheard Zen-san's story, so his true name was Kronos. Who is Kronos? Kronos is the name of a god spoken of in Greek mythology. Innocent Sin has the color theme red. You're correct, so it stole it from Persona 2. <laughs> nah, nah, nah. Red's, red and black specifically are just really nice aesthetically. Black with most colors is just a nice combo. But red and black, and then like green and black specifically, are just really, really nice. At least to me. <laughs> Of course, that young man isn't truly the Kronos of myth. This place connects deep into human consciousness. If he is a native, it means humans gave birth to him. When one's body perishes, the mind returns to the Sea of Souls. Many people think of it in this way. They believe they are taken away to the afterlife through the guidance of a higher power. That imagery aggregated to give rise to those with the role of death. That young man is one such being. Margaret gives a pained smile. I now understand why this place had to be a culture festival. F 
festivals were originally ceremonies, ritual practices to put souls to rest. Raison's soul, on the verge of disappearing, wandered into this haven in the rift. Because she was unable to escape her illusion, even in death, this ceremony was necessary to calm her. This is the last paradise constructed by a pitiable soul. That may be why we residents of the Velvet Room were drawn to it. Where one comes from, and where they will go, everyone, even us, searches for the answer to that. I make this request of you. Please set this poor soul free. I promise. I'm not worried at all. Knowing you, I'm certain you can save them. I'll be waiting for that time to come. In front of the clock tower, your companions have gathered in something of a daze. Oh, Zikun. Um, Sorry. I know we need to rest, but I just couldn't stop thinking about things and ended up here. That's when we found out everyone else was here, too. Hmm. The tower truly looks as if it's piercing the heavens. And the sky is ominous as well. <sighs> this isn't just a clock tower now. It's a giant nest of shadows. Rachon, I want to save her as soon as we can. Yes. As do I. But we must be cautious. It would be a terrible blow if our plan backfired. That's right! If all of you fall, who will save Rachon? Indeed. That's why we must calm ourselves now. Rachon! Damn it. You better not cry, Teddy. Y'all made our, up our minds to save her. There's no way we could go home like this anyway. Yes. Of course we can't. Hmm. Save her, huh? But what can we do for her? Hmm. I felt that way a bit too after listening to Zenkun's story. I wonder what we should do. We can worry about that after Rachan's safe. <laughs> I see. You're right. We'd want to talk to her in person and think about what to do from there, right? All, right. All we can do is charge in! <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Let's go. Everyone's resolve is clearly firm. You should brace yourselves and head to the clock tower where Ray awaits. Hey. Hey, want some sweets? Or would you rather have something cold? <laughs> resolve. <laughs> oh, no. No, thank you. I don't need anything. <laughs> you don't have to be so modest. The donuts over there are great, too. Rachon always... Oh, uh, <laughs> um. Come on, cheer up. I mean, I know it's hard, but still. Hmm. Yosuke. I'll be alright. The powers I've used so far remain within me. I can still fight. <laughs> no, uh, man. that's not what I meant. His healing abilities were originally mine to begin with. If only I'd realized sooner that it wasn't a power that could be used on its own. Like your personas. <laughs> Perhaps things may have gone differently. Oh my god, Fisk is making omelets. Zen. Aw, Kormaru is nuzzling his head on Zen's palm. Hey, Zenkun. You can believe in us. In my senpai. Trust us. It'll all go well. Hmm. Believe? It's probably tough for you. It's hard for anyone, anyone to really put their trust in someone else. We'll take you to where Ray is. You can count on that. Believe. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he laughed! Hmm. I believe in all of you already. I believe in you. In your strength. And your kindness. Thank you. Ain't something you gotta thank us for. You fight alongside me too, Kormaru. <laughs> I see. Thank you. Zen is gently patting Kormaru's head. You 
should brace ourselves and head to the clock tower where Rhea waits. Val is in his bed, asleep, and he <laughs> This is true. <laughs> he is very asleep. <laughs> with a whisk. And then I won't get any food. <laughs> Lethargy circle on. She could use that. It's fine that Mitsuru still has uh, this one. Although I'll probably take it off. Is it close enough to being done that I can get it on break? Uh, she's making them one at a time, so... If someone hasn't claimed that one, it'll be a little cold, but... I'm gonna pay attention to when the others are announced to be finished. And grab it accordingly. <laughs> of course. Welcome. Of course you have requests. Oh shit. Are you Thank you for accepting. Oh no. The festival dudes this FOE. Is... A nice eyebrow. <laughs> he won't. <laughs> Please come again. Wait, why? Why making them one at a time? Probably because it's Omu Rice, specifically. Wow, okay. I'll get that set up then. Evens and odds. It's been a little while. All right, there we go. Y'all got 10 minutes. Yeah, Cole, Maru, and Teddy are not very happy. Well, may as well get it out of the way then. 
this was what we this is what I had decided was gonna be the fast zoots but uh, honestly I don't think it is I don't think it is I think I have to bring Shinji I sort of um <laughs> worked him further this was this team was set up before you know somebody decided to be absolutely cracked so I will arrange and include him. He. But now I have to change everyone's equipment. <laughs> well, one person's equipment. Yeah, she has the almighty badge. Maybe for the sake of this, she doesn't actually have it? What do you have? You have the Rudra Ring, which halves your HP costs. But if I give you this, you get more HP and more SP. Which I might need. Uh, yes. They use Dirahan on themselves constantly. If you, um... If you bring five people, and those people are not all male, uh, all men, I suppose. Because Ken doesn't count, Kormara doesn't count, Teddy doesn't count, and Zen doesn't count. <laughs> so we'll give you... Huh. What do I give you? Maybe in our best interests to give him... No, with the Megidola. Because he's not... Human... Man... I guess. We'll get no chakra ring. Um... And then Persona. Probably just... Take... Oh, if I give him Yoshitsune, then I can give him the Rujo Ring. Yeah. Yeah. Is that- I think it would be better if Yosuke had more healing. The Germanium Ring is nice, but... They will, if you have five. It's the whole point of, like, the hint is that it needs to be a fair fight. And since the festival dudes consist of four FOEs combined, it's a four on four. And a test of masculinity. Well, So it has to be met. Yes. That is the logic that's going into this. I'm gonna save first, but I am actually gonna take some items. <laughs> Most because, um, I don't know. These guys have a chance to absolutely wreck my shit if I'm not careful. So I'll just take all my healing. two of those. I might buy more. No, it... I think it's Ken doesn't count because he's not a high schooler. Kormaru and Teddy don't count because they're not human. Which means Kronos doesn't count because he's not human. Or Zen doesn't count because he's not human. Better. 
mean, he is Kronos, but that's besides the point. <laughs> Buy three. All oh, my money. Yomi return. He has more healing. So I probably should bring her. She should probably be my battle nav. But I'm not gonna have the fun passive, so I'm gonna have to probably run from my fights. All right. Shit ton of setup, so we'll save. Yeah, no, that's a... That's the thing. I think what I did last time is I had someone with a high-level Ishtar as a healer, but at least with this, I can actually... I actually just have a healer. He just probably is not going to be doing much in terms of, like, fighting. Okay, uh, the one that's gonna take the less time to get to is the one that's north. Let's go. There's an FOE. It's an FOE. If you can defeat it, we can probably kill it. It resists fire. This is annoying. <laughs> Well, we know what we're doing. Charge. Um, debilitate. <laughs> if you'll be upset if this lasts more than 10 rounds, this thing has 9,800 HP. It's probably gonna take a second. I'm telling you, Messiah. Take no Okami. Light wave, yes. He is moving first. But he can just attack and then he'll attack again. Um may you wanna heal. <laughs> Shinji with Shura Tensei? Yeah. But I barely have room on his skills as it is. <laughs> <laughs> but it would be very cursed. He already does so much damage. Oh man, if only he hit twice, that'd be amazing. <gasps> My dinner! <laughs> uh... 
Oh, I want to grab it right now. Do you have enough in yet? No. Do the light wave. Also, Toby, defend. <laughs> Wow, it's already almost dead. Okay, let's go nuts then. I mean, he still has Heat Razor, may as well. And you, Medi Rahan. Oh my god, he's gonna crit. <laughs> Maybe Shinji should have had Yoshitsune. Oh well. <laughs> Crit. Oh. Okay, <laughs> that's that. <gasps> Hi, Chiu. <laughs> I can take Infinite Link from you. Don't get too worked up. Oh, I guess. Concerned over nothing. I just can't hear you from here. <laughs> You're right. you have in the meantime? Oh yeah, Belphegor. So I remember not to get rid of those guys on accident. I'm gonna get a second purple headband? ring from you? I wonder... Do I do the almighty badge? Well, no, I'm gonna get it in the tower, and then I don't need Shinji to have a Rouge ring, because they'll both just have the almighty badge. I just realized I'm, I'm get coming up to getting a second one of those. Oh god. <laughs> Can I take my break a little early? <laughs> so I can get my food? That would be cool. <laughs> I guess. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> All right. Yeah, this is a browser sword. 
But yeah, I'd have to look into it. Especially since I'd have to have them set up so where they would automatically redeem and go off. Well. Well. <laughs> yes. <laughs> we beat the festival dudes and we got another purple headband, which is not a bad accessory. Thank you. We are the true festival, dude. <laughs> this will be your reward. I mean, I would- I want to do... Sub-alerts. Anime WoW is a must? No. <laughs> it's not an absolute must. But yeah, the item... Oh, I need to store all these away. Um, the item... Yeah. Max HP plus 15, agility plus 3. It's not a bad accessory. I may keep that. Huh. Welcome. Amazing. <laughs> How much does it sell for? Just to be, just to be absolutely sure. Okay, yeah, it's not bad. It's not a bad accessory. I'll, I'll keep it. I'll keep it. Yes. There's only one more Elizabeth fight. We already did the Margaret fight. There's only ever one. I'm glad I had all that healing for that fight. Yeah, I did too. It's uh, yeah. <laughs> it's really good. <laughs> all right, let's go. Yes, as I recall, the clock tower is ten floors. Ten floors. The clock tower. Oh, gears of all sizes are intertwined complexly. Talk about the stronghold of a real enemy. Doesn't look like it'll be an easy nut to crack. Yeah, it seems like there's an awful lot of floors. Just stay calm and be careful drawing your map as you go. It's probably safe to assume that the shadows are more powerful here. And I believe after a certain floor, the elevator will activate. Can you handle it, Zen? It won't be a problem. I've gained the abilities Ray had been using until now. I'll cause no trouble. Huh? Don't tell me that's because of the power of love. It would be more accurate to say I've regained them. Yes. I think originally my it's powers. not until the 8th floor. Yeah, it's not until the 8th floor that the that they become long-winded. As you can see, uh, the 8th floor is kind of when things go crazy. But everything leading up to that, it's... They're not particularly long. No. Not at all. Nani the fuck is up with that floor? You will see when we get to it. She had the power to fight because I was with her. Which means I was forcing her to fight. What's behind this here, dude? I've regained my memories as well <laughs> he as did the do power a work. I I'll be able to fill Ray's role from now on. Except I'm still not gonna use you. I'll make sure not to drag you down. So... Just remember to not push yourself too hard. There's no shame in relying on one's companions. Yes. I understand. Thank you. <laughs> Alright, let's go! <laughs> Looks like you've got this floor mostly figured out. Let us proceed. Did my Edipedia update?
Yes, it did. These were not in the compendium earlier. After the best friend and the guardian machine, it was just blank. Even though it's New Game Plus, it still hid that in the compendium. What an enemy. I have found a power spot. Let us go in that direction. Look out! What are the enemies on this floor? The enemies get the first hit in, and there's three of them. I'll pay you back twice over. Ah, yes! I get things. I assume for killing them without actually attacking. Let's see if that's the case. I bet that's what it was, because I remember there was an enemy on this floor that gave you, uh, a third piece. That I was like, huh, I'm, I've already figured it out. <laughs> we owe this to your sound tactics. Yep. The drives. The turret, I think you need to do something else. I don't remember what, though. Man, even on the final dungeon, I never permanently marked any of these, did I? A retro toy here. I guess picks up the retro looking robot and gazes at it. It seems Mr. Robot is missing a gear and cannot move. This Mr. Robot should have a duty it was created for. It I am slightly me. curious whether this Mr. Robot was able to carry that duty or not. Carry out that duty or not. Blech. Mm. Yeah, but I think we need to hurry and get to where Raychon is for now. Zikun, just in case, could you try to remember about this gear? Look this up real quick. I see. Man, it resists that too? Huh? Okay. Uh, this is awkward. Yes, hit it once. She's in the back road, that's why she can't do that. I want that third item, that's all. It's no use. Good. Naoto-kun's napping. It'll be bad if she takes a hit now. Look how it is. This might be enough? Oh god, don't kill it. Uh, 
Don't kill it. No! Don't get too worked up. The next fight's not far off. I need to kill it with a fire attack. <laughs> Let's go. Okay, spider FOE, right? Yep. That's one huge spider. <sighs> what amazing jumping strength it has. It moves quickly enough that dodging it will prove troublesome. A spider. Race trapped by one, too. We can't stand around petrified with fear. Let's gauge whether where it will land next and keep going. Yeah, I marked those tiles. In fact, I'm probably going to see if I can kill this. <laughs> Pretty sure I can! Do you wanna try? We should be able to defeat it. Let's sweet to electricity. <laughs> That's helpful. Gun on spiders in the clock tower. That one's weak against electricity. Hmm. Magnum on Nemi. <laughs> <laughs> ah. Persona, rise up. Senpai, your defense has been reduced. You'll take more damage. This thing has a lot of HP. Izanagi no Oka. Missed. No. Oh goodness, that's going to be annoying, isn't it? Him, oh, please land this. Boop. Hey! Him, <laughs> Gorgeous. No! Senpai's defense has been lowered. I Stay need cautious. physicals! <laughs> you can't do this to me! Does that do anything? We shall see. Are you ready? Okay. It did not remove the... Why is I guess no longer... Strength bound? Did doing that remove that? Wow. I guess has activated her Orgia mode. Go get him! I shall attack relentlessly. Oh, he didn't heat rise the her. Darn, this is not gonna do as much. And he's... Uh, this is so sad! Let's just attack. Uh. Don't miss. Nice.
Nice. Because maneuvering around those guys isn't... I guess it's not that hard. Seems off. Shall we examine it more closely? Huh? Oh, that's the treasure chest. A faint voice can be heard from somewhere. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry, everyone. I'm sorry, Finn. This is all because I was selfish. The voice fades away. Rachel, she's suffering. The meaning of life. Who would have that answer? Why does one need a reason? They're living now and existing here. That is life. It doesn't matter if there is meaning behind it or not. Hmm. Maybe not, but... That's what I thought. Until I met Ray. Now I don't know anymore. It's not a matter of whether the meaning exists or not. The search for meaning is universal regardless. The search for meaning? You seek some justification for your existence? Yeah, from someone. If possible, from someone important to you. Why? You're already alive. You don't need any justification for that. No one lives on their own. No? I think that we live day to day by supporting, cooperating, and encouraging each other. When things are tough and we're lonely or down, we remember friendly faces. That's how we can bear it. Indeed. Because those precious to me are doing their best, I feel that I can do the same. I believe no one lives their life alone. Alone? Don't worry, I'm, I'm here, here with, with you. you. You're not alone. Not alone. Meanwhile... The time has come. The time for you all to carry out your duties. Hello. Here I go. Okay. How do I get the turret belt? I'm looking this up because I, I want it again, even though I've probably already gotten it. <laughs> Doesn't really matter which one it is, because I'll just scroll down to it. by killing the arcane turret with darkness. Huh. I see. So I chose the wrong thing, that's all. Perfection. You settled that quickly. Hey, real quick. I want to check the Enipedia. Specifically around... These. The ones that were in the... The fourth labyrinth. Was there one that I might have missed? Mind dice. I need to kill that with fire. Then Minotaur, I need to figure out. Let me look that up right now. It's Minotaur 1. Good to know. Oh, 
Aw, oh, and the order giant. Oh my god, I missed so many items. I'm at stone floor, but my mouse went down further. Giant sword only obtainable by killing order giant with stab skills. Interesting. We never fought the Capturer. Never fought the Reaper. We got Capture Spider and Clockwork God. And then these three mysteries. Hmm. <laughs> Everyone's talking about the devices within the labyrinths. <sighs> Group date had those spiked floors, the haunted house had switches, and the festival had those fires. So I guess this clock tower thing is gonna have something like that. Ah. Sounds like it's gonna be tough. I mean, it, it's the la It's the last of the labyrinths. Woo! Oh, I've got an idea. <laughs> Why don't we take a gear back here back as a souvenir of the festival? It's like baseball players taking back dirt. What? <sighs> listening to anything we just said. There might be traps and stuff. Don't do anything scary like that. Ah, also, baseball players only take dirt back with them when they lose. Don't suggest stupid stuff like that. <gasps> oh, I forgot. It's I'm time. not gonna lose, so I'm not gonna take anything back with me. Huh. To think I'd see the day when Junpei criticizes someone for saying something stupid. Da -da -da -da. <laughs> Junpei has leveled up. The spiders jumping around. Ah! We find out what's inside. Aha! But they aren't that scary. I'll follow orders so long as they're good. Junpei, show us your dirt collection. <laughs> Come on, will work. This shouldn't kill. Emphasis on shouldn't. It's no use. Now to Kun's napping. It'll be bad if she takes a hit now. Look how for this is. Hmm? It's me. Persona, rise up. Oh no! That one is weak to darkness. Don't hold back. Keep the orders coming. The only, the only one who's slower. The only one who's slower is. and he's gonna kill it. It's gonna blow up. I need someone to not do a lot of damage. I need to spotlight Igus. This should do it, maybe. She's gonna crit. Please don't kill it. No! Well, that's that. Why'd you have to crit, I guess? <laughs> I believe. <sighs> okay, Battle of Wits. Goodness, I don't remember. Heading forward. Okay, there are some spiders here. Damn. Hi there. Over there. Let's kill all of them. <laughs> you can beat this one now. Do you want to try? It's no cause for concern. Oh. 
Just put in the codes to prevent it from blowing up. If only. Good thing we have Recarm. Antimatter dice. Just tap the sides in the correct Here sequence. Go nuts. Blast them, Caster. Please, heroic Gemini. No. Oh well. Oh. The only thing he can do is this, I guess. <laughs> oh. 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 I guess I'll try Mamu Dude, even though I know that's not going to do anything. Just attack. Dominate. Don't die. Okay, yeah, she's fine. It's almost going to be... Yep. Right. <laughs> now it's a dead spider. We owe this to your sound tactics. Wonder how much the compound I sells for. Oh yeah, this thing goes in like a really weird pattern. There's really not a good way for me to... Oh, never mind. <laughs> it evaporated. Oh, 
Don't mind me, just uh, getting some SP back. Hop all over the place trying to keep up with me going side to side constantly. <laughs> Perfect. Tire it out, yeah. I think you can defeat it. It's no cause for concern. I'm not gonna be able to use that. Um, I guess you raise yourself then. Blast Got a can of raid here with your name on it, Spider Bro. Yeah. That's the. <laughs> we have our. We have a very unique type of pesticide. It's. It's called Igus and Shinjiro. <laughs> Impossible. that genre where I'm like oh magic bind that's interesting it's no use Senpai, be careful you can only use physical attacks that's not great I guess go for the rise of John Hit a light wave. Heal. Go into Orgeum mode. Shadow run? 4k damage and it's still standing? It's an FOE. FOEs are stronger than the Guardians. They're kind of- it's kind of crazy. So I just get the distinct feeling. I mean, it's that's kind of like the thing is, is like they set a trend, but sometimes is trend chasing, dramatically increased. they kind of like lose the, the whole purpose behind capacity. why it became a trend in the first place. Like the reason why reincarnated as a slime got popular was because it was actually good. It wasn't because it was a concept that people liked, necessarily. Sometimes it's uh, just you're the first one to do it, so therefore it's the best, but... I've heard people talk about it in a positive light, and it has something to do with avoiding power creep. 
it does a good job at being like, yeah, the protagonist is super strong, but at the same time, the the challenges that they face have nothing to do with the fact that they're super strong. He learned about civic engineering too? Interesting. I don't know how that would have anything to do with becoming a slime, but that's kind of cool, I guess. Persona! Ow. Well, he's probably going to kill it. Yeah. Flame Link did a lot of damage. Yosuke, so Yosuke wasn't well. able to heal in time. Oh, I guess your HP. My health has reached dangerously low levels. I require healing. You're fine. It appears to be a treasure box. Shall we open it? Kaiser armor. Wall seems off. Shall we examine it more closely? Oh, this room is no longer... Okay. 180 is better. Oh! That's cool. I found the stairs. Let's go up the stairs, and then we'll leave. <laughs> Imagine getting hurt and only being able to heal if your leader does it for you, yeah. Oh no. Oh, we hear the sounds. That sound. It's the Reaper. Oh, crap. That strong as hell monster? Why? Ah, of course. I'm only one of the many cogs in this machine. That's why this world is after me. Wait, what? What do you mean? There is something called natural providence in the world. It is the force that maintains balance. Even Kronos is under its control. I locked myself here and sealed away my powers. As a result, a life that should have returned, Ray's soul, is not returning to where it should. That endangers the balance. If it were to happen, it would eventually lead to this world's destruction. Thus, the sealed-off Kronos was made to awaken before that could occur. The countdown had begun the moment I locked myself in here, and that hour has now struck. The time for this haven in the rift to disappear. Disappear, huh? Huh? Wait, so what's gonna happen to us? For you? For Raychon? We'll disappear too. Everything. Including our very existence. To compensate, none of you or Ray would have existed from the start. The scales would thus be balanced. Ah. No one will remember that any of you were ever alive. Would never have existed. That's correct. It will be made so that you were never born to begin with. What? It's still not too late. You need to head back and return to your own times through those doors. Darn. Do that, and you'll be. Even if we're safe, what about Raison? She said she wanted a reason to be alive, but to retroactively erase her existence? That's too cruel. But... What'll happen if the sealed Kronos wakes up? He'll assimilate me. He'll return to his original complete state, and erase this world along with Rey. That's why he's suspended Rey where she is. He wishes to lure me to where he is in this clock tower. That spider isn't a shadow from the school. It's one of Kronos' minions. And all of you, we're also bait. Bait? Kronos was the one who summoned you from your I original mean, world. I mean, how do you compensate for a bunch of people just suddenly vanishing as if they had never existed? The universe correcting itself so that they never existed. That is also a plot point in Blaze Blue. In fact, that's the that's like one of the heaviest themes of Blaze Blue. If no one was there to observe you being alive, were you ever alive at all?
He did it to make me traverse the labyrinths, so that I would regain my memories. Kronos chose you all because you had the power to accomplish this. I'm not familiar with that meme, Seta. I see. So we were pawns who dutifully played our role perfectly. But are we still pawns? Huh? Is us traveling with you to where Kronos waits part of his plan, too? No. I doubt it. When my memories returned, I was supposed to erase Rey and this world. But you haven't done that, right? No. You've changed, Zen. Changed? Me? You've changed, though you may not realize it. That alone means there's a wrench in Kronos' plan. To hell with that guy acting all high and mighty like a god. Oh. Right, the song. I don't really get it, but we just have to beat him and it's done, right? Right. The option of backing down never entered our minds. Everyone. Maybe it would be funnier if I had seen an episode and it was actually looking at the meme itself, because that explanation, while I understand it, like, what it's trying to do, it just doesn't sound very funny in my head. Even if us coming here was part of someone's grand plan, it doesn't matter. I'm glad we came. I've gained tons more companions, for one thing. Yeah, there's no need for you to feel responsible after all we've been through, Zenkun. Zenka, what you must do hasn't changed. Please speak to Rayson. Yes. All right, let's go. Still have yet to watch James on. Speaking of blue anime, this bear's gonna bust out my special owl punches. Owl? A bear and also an owl. <gasps> Teddy, are you going to become an owl bear? Whoa! What are you talking about? Huh? <laughs> Looks like you've got this floor mostly figured out now. Genuinely, huh? <laughs> what are they talking? <laughs> Abyss mirror. Ooh. Speaking of brutal anime, I have yet to. I still have yet to watch Chainsaw Man. unsure as to whether or not I should make this request. It is one of the most difficult ones I have. Give it to me! F a flying teddy would be a formidable foe. Ah. I had faith that you would be enthusiastic. So now Please take caution when carrying out this request. Defeat the Reaper! <gasps> this wasn't a request last time! Oh? Oh? Oh, hey, Rouge Ring. I'll take it. I could do. I could do with both. Two, rather. Nah. A platinum gear. If I recall, it may be good for you. To I actually have one already. It would appear that you already have the gear. Yeah. Then. Guess the correct treasure box in the clock tower Are first. Sure Through the like floor. We'll do that. So now. Something bees has, but A does not. Something it can have, but it's cannot. But could tick tock, tick tock, tick tock, tick. Correct answer is an apostrophe. That was easy. <laughs> that was merely a sample question. I have created a puzzle using riddles like this one. Will you be able to solve them? It's requested to be a battle of wits between the two of us. Thanks. There are locked treasure chests on the first three floors of the clock tower. The chests themselves are a puzzle. Each of the 
Of the boxes will be assigned a word, and I would like you to find the one that does not fit in. Then. Glasses are A, while lenses are B. Spoons are A, while knives are B. Carrots are A, while potatoes are B. And that is all. Mm. And lastly... Well then. Liz, we have save states. You cannot outwit save states. This is true. <gasps> Omnipotent orb and 20,000 EXP! Thank you for Omnipotent orb. This quest is... May luck be with you. It's a powerful enemy that not even I could defeat on my own. Please be careful. I feel like that's a lie, but okay. <laughs> oh, thank you. Now, I don't know. From the platinum planet. The plat platinumites eat their platinum food, have platinum jam with platinum tea, and dream platinum dreams. Okay. Alright. I think I can afford to grab that skill card? Maybe? Welcome to- I need Belphegor to level up one more time. But you know what I also need to do? I need to sacrifice Chiyu, which is gonna fucking hurt. But I'm gonna sacrifice Chiyu. And Alilot. <laughs> and we're gonna give it to Belphegor. <laughs> For the binding hands. Chiyu Shard and the Goddess Obsidian. Chernabog needs to level up once, and that'll be Death Scythe, which will be perfect. Hmm. I may store the Megidolon. So that way it's not in a weird spot. Huh. Yeah. And 
then I'm gonna sell the Chiyu shard and the Goddess Obsidian. Because, man, I'm gonna have to get rid of the Yoshitsune shard. That's Beelzebub. I don't know about the Bullhorn. Vishnu, which means sacrificing Vishnu. Oh, Wagaskanda. Michael. But yeah, there's the Chiyu shard. And the Goddess Obsidian. Ashura. <laughs> I'm gonna have to grab all of those personas and sacrifice them in order to unlock their weapons. The Tangled Thread and the Giant Sword will probably come naturally. It's probably something off of an I'm enemy rather than a persona. But yeah. We have some setup for everyone's best weapons, but not, not quite yet. Why the spider in tower? <sighs> that clock tower will be difficult, it seems. We should rest a while to prepare ourselves. Hmm. Looks like we won't be making a dash straight for the top. Sugar intake is important for the human body to function and think properly. I would like As a to result, an idea. I suggest that you all order some Anmitsu here. What? Wow, wasn't expecting that. <laughs> I guess we can't say no if she says so. I'll have some matcha ice cream, um, Anmitsu. Huh? D does this include me? Then I'll have the fruit, Anmitsu. Uh, uh, I'll, um, have one without the red beans. Nuh-uh. Nope, dog shouldn't eat this stuff. You're having water. Hmm. I'll limit myself to a drink as well. I don't think I could eat anything right now. You each place your orders and chat amongst yourselves while eating the sweets. Hmm. A clock tower, huh? I wonder why there's a clock tower in the middle of the schoolyard bigger than the real one. But it was because Raychan heard its bell from her hospital room. The chimes of that bell must have represented Yasogami High for her. Hmm. I guess that's why the clock tower is the last labyrinth. <laughs> Raychan's captive somewhere in that tower. <laughs> That spider is dead meat! Hmm. That reminds me, why a spider? Hmm. Hmm? Well, the guardians in the labyrinth seem connected in whatever way until now. Wonderland had a red queen, and it was a doctor at the hospital. But what's the relationship between a clock tower and a spider? What's the relationship between a festival and a rabbit monster? Now that I think about That's it. That's a good question! Hmm. Mm, but don't forget what we found at the end of the pride exhibit. True. True. The guardian there was Reisan's shadow. If so, why was the festival of that sort tied to Re Reisan? Huh? <gasps> I've reached the truth! <laughs> the trouble started when Zen and Rei met, right? In other words, when Zen first spied her, get it? <laughs> spied her! Like spiders, see? Huh, is that so? Wow, Even so Fuchan started brushing me off! The spiders in the R in the RE3 clock tower. It was her favorite video game. <laughs> Daddy, please stop. Bystanding residence. The food court. It's rare to see the Velvet Room residents gathered here. Ray 3! <laughs> huh? Oh, you're here. Why don't you sit down? <laughs> Margaret and Elizabeth seem lost in thought. Mm. It's been really heavy in here. I wonder why. <laughs> now is not yet the time to be impatient. Yes. Indeed. As they say, haste makes waste. Could they also be daunted by who Zen is and the fate that waits you in the clock tower? <laughs> I'm sorry for the wait. Theodore comes rushing over. He's carrying plates of takoyaki in both hands. Honestly. Yes, you've certainly kept us waiting. 
I was thinking I might leave soon. I I'm sorry. Excuse it me. It took time to blend the sauce, mayonnaise, and pickled ginger just right. Well, that's understandable. <gasps> Don't tell me that you forgot the dried seaweed. Oh. Hey. Theo, give me whichever one's the spiciest. Marie, shouldn't you learn a bit of humility? Huh? Is this that seniority rule thing? That stuff's outdated, you know. <laughs> the air is tense. What? Wait, so you were just waiting for the takoyaki to get here? Oh. Oh, no, absolutely not. We were witnessing where the road of fate leads. Where fate leads? It was destined that you would all come here. Within that destiny, we are witness to which thread you will grasp at, and where it might lead. Destiny is fate, and fate is time itself. The time that this world yearns for has ripened. We are the watchers of your fate. We will assist as far as we can, but you must reach out for yourselves and grasp your own destiny. <laughs> I wonder what kind of conclusion you will reach. Good luck. I'll be cheering for you. Ow, it's hot. Oh, Theo. Theo, what has become of the missing dried seaweed? <sighs> I'll go fetch it. What kind of conclusion we reach, huh? That is something we'll have to decide on. It's our choice. Can't blame it on anyone else. Let's make sure we don't regret any of it. Of course. Yeah. Pretty sure we'll be fine as long as we have you leading us. Let's reach that conclusion together. I'm counting on you. You should brace yourselves and head to the clock tower where Rey awaits. No one lives alone. Zen seems to be thinking about something. Oh. Ah, oh, it's you. Don't worry about Ray. Right. Mm -hmm. I was thinking about the meaning of your companion's words. No one truly lives alone. Ray said those exact words once. I can't understand what it means to be alone, or what it means to be alive either. I didn't know anything. I don't know anything. <laughs> Even now, with my memories back. It frightens me how little I'm able to comprehend your feelings. Why did I trap Ray here? Zen's expression changes only slightly, but he seems to be in pain. Hmm. It's my turn this time. I will repay her for what I've done. I'll pay my debt of gratitude to Ray and all the rest of you. I will do this no matter what it takes. You continue to gaze out the window at the clock tower together. Shinji lived alone. Oh! The mood is heavy. The food court. A number of your companions are here, but they seem quiet. Hmm. The atmosphere is tense. Yeah. Boy! This takoyaki sure is delicious! <laughs> the plump octopus, green onion, pickled ginger... It's got so many colors, it's like a jewelry box! <laughs> J jewelry! <laughs> um, it's so full of ingredients that it's like a takoyaki! <laughs> uh... Hey now. Can't you do something here? This is way too grim. I really get nervous when things get like this. Tell the joke? <laughs> Dude, no. Not even the best comedian could get a laugh when things get like this. I wonder if Rei-chan is sleeping inside that spider. Or do you think she's conscious? Mm. I don't know, but I think she can hear everyone's voices. I'm sure she can tell that our senpai are doing their best to get to her. I see. Breathe in. Breathe out. Deep breaths. Chie. Um, Don't worry, I know. I know we can't be too hasty, and we need to take breaks. I know that in my head, but still... Yeah. Ta-da! 
Junpei quiz question number one. Huh? What? <laughs> what is Junpei Kun's blood type? Hmm? Anyone? Was it too hard? Want me to give you some hints? Um, we should probably start getting ready to go. Alright, All right, let's get psyched. <laughs> I better go let everyone else know, too. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna check out Theo's shop for a bit. Uh, oh, uh, um, please wait for me. The girls left in a hurry. Huh. And then there were none. <laughs> the correct answer was type B. Uh, he tried. You should brace yourselves and head to the clock tower where Ray awaits. Wrong thing. So the first floor's chest was copper. That's a controller setting, not your blood type. <laughs> I mean... It can also... Alright. That was a big yawn. We're gonna start from the entrance. Also because I want to fight the thing. The mind dice. The mind dice is on this floor. And I wanna- I don't know if it shows up on other floors. I have discovered a suspicious oh. area up ahead. Let it's us investigate. <laughs> he played too much Innocent Sin online. <laughs> It seems this door is automatic and cannot be operated manually. Mm. I don't see any switches or nothing either. Let's come back later. Yeah, that's not what I meant to do, though. Oh, nothing's gonna Let's show go. up unless I go over here. Got it. Look out! Darn. There's three of them, but they aren't that scary. A drive, Shadow. Come, Yamato Kukeru. Perfection. We settled that quickly. Poor can. Uh oh, cause I crashed the yeah. <laughs> Perfection. That went disappointingly fast. Oh, your persona's gotten strong. Critical eye! Woo! Goodbye, Mataro Kacha. <laughs> that quickly you have a tank of your own yosuke his name is shinji <laughs> Don't kill the dice, please. Senpai, wake up! If you 
take a hit now, it'll be bad. Make I just do some chip damage. It's no use. Oh, come on. I guess is sleeping. She can't defend herself. Currently in sleep mode. Don't kill the dice, please. <laughs> Impossible. <laughs> Stop doing that. I guess is in trouble. Damage at over eighty percent. Okay. Too easy. All right. That one is weak to darkness. Reloading complete. Ready, Rahan, Flame Link. Nobody else do anything. It resists fire, but I have to kill it with a fire move to get the item off of it. Oh my god, finally, thank you. Firing Lump, well only done. obtainable by killing Mind Dice with fire, is used to create Claw of Revenge, Quintessence Bow, Megiddo Gun, and Pa... Pashupata. Fire ring lump. Beautiful. We have it. I Luckily, I don't think we need more than the one. <laughs> so now we get Here off we this go. floor. I'm detecting signals from an FOE. The next yes, thing that we're probably going to run into is Minotaur 1. On the last few floors of the clock tower, I'm guessing Order Giant as well. Eighth and ninth floors, which are literally the last two floors. All right. Oh Time yeah, we go. gotta kill the Reaper! I picked up a signal from the Reaper. Please be careful. Hi, how you doing, buddy? Need you to move in a way. Yeah. All right. Moment of truth. Wait, what? He has like a pupil. You can't take this one on. You need to get out of there. Shut up! I know what I'm doing. Get out of here. I want to fight this one. Don't tell me what what I can and can't do. One and a half hour possible. drive away. Send an SOS signal. I'ma kill it. I'ma kill it! The only problem is no, this asshole the knows Mahamon and Mamudu. Nice. Thank you, Swordbreaker. I'm gonna give everybody Masuka Kaja. She's gonna share a Tensei. 
I'm gonna make her attack with Shadowrun. Oh no, he is moving before Shinji. Shoot. I guess their natural speeds take over when they Dragon Cry. Interesting. Oh, that did nothing. Impossible. This one is. This one is. Photon Edge, Light Wave. Because we didn't get. Either I ignored it because I didn't think I could, or literally this request did not rock. Because I never recalled it. I was like, I kind of want to fight him, but. Uh, I opted out of doing that. Okay, for Gia. And actually, with the health that we are all at currently, he should probably Meteor Rahan. Uh -huh. Nice. He heard himself this time. Nice. Crush him, caster. It's no use. I guess has activated her orgia mode. Go get him. I shall attack relentlessly. Oh, I didn't heat rise to her. I should have done that. Crap. Man. <laughs> I think I'll win even with that one oversight. <laughs> what makes you think that? <laughs> what could possibly what make you think that I'm gonna win this this turn? <laughs> How much HP does he have though, actually? He's he doesn't have he hasn't moved into the position of like low HP. Oh! Now he is! And he's still panicked. Okay, yeah, I think we've won. <laughs> I don't know. He doesn't learn it. If he does, um, that's cool. But I don't think... Did he? He might have. Ah! Well, there goes that. I'm at my limits. I just got stunned. No. Yeah, and then he did that. <laughs> no, 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 no! Oh, I pressed the wrong button. Goodbye, whoever got hit by that. Yep. I did not mean to press X, but I did. <sighs> and I'm kind of sad. Oh, nope, I hadn't targeted the wrong one. I forgot who he used that on. I should have checked. Oh, well. Spiderweb is not great. Wow. I guess it's down. She can't move. Well, whoever is getting hit by this is going to have trouble. <laughs> 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 At my limits. Go, 
Damn. This guy is not very nice. Shinjiro's <laughs> is down. This guy is not very nice. <laughs> when he's on low HP. Missed. Oh good, he's going to Megi Dolon, isn't he? Oh! Thank you, Iga Shield. Oh my god, most of those missed. Senpai's unconscious? Someone revive him! Our leader is in trouble! Working on it! Feminine Athena! As long as it's not an insta-kill. Impossible to continue Woo! fighting. Get him! Get him, Shinji! Yes! <laughs> but what about me, Rise? <laughs> ah! Don't get too worked up. The next fight's not far off. <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> This guy's growing too. He does not meet, need Mediorama. <laughs> now let's not do that ever again. You can't keep going with your party like that. What? No! What do you mean? I am going to leave, actually, though. <laughs> They'll get the EXP from this when I heal them. Omnipotent Orb! <laughs> uh, their supports. Splendidly done. They don't get as much EXP as those participating in battle. I tried to fight it after stealing away all my personas and skills, as well as binding my arms, legs, and head. Oh. I came very close to finishing it off, but things became rather troublesome at the end. Perhaps I would have wore, had an easier time if I wore the proper accessory, but I must give in to laziness. Please, take... Omnipotent orb. <laughs> Omnipotent Orb. What's the last request? Ah oh, yes, the Battle of Wits. Or we grind it several times. I don't know about that. That order is 40,000! Prevent all damage except all. Yep. <laughs> oh. Oh. Yep. I await your next visit. Oh. Oh my god. I have an idea. So my first thought in my mind was, give it to me. What if I... Would sure... What... I need to find an FOE to prove this. But I had, I had an idea. Actually, 
the healer is immortal. <laughs> I have almost full inventory? Yeah, you're gonna assume the damage taken from Shura Tensei is almighty. Yeah. I don't think I need these. I never really like those. These I can mess with, though. Oh. I forgot about that. <laughs> I'll survive using the I mean, yeah. The thought process was either to give it to Igis or to Shinji, so that way they wouldn't have to tank hits sometimes. But if only Megido skills and other almighty attacks affect Yosuke, if, like, if that's the only thing that he is not protected by, I can't get, like, bullshitteried by losing, uh both the leader and Yosuke, and then the others, and whoever survives an insta-kill, or spread insta-kill, just has to go, Welp. Which Naoto is guaranteed to survive no matter what, because of Yamato Takeru being immune to both, but for, like, Shinji and Aegis, it's still, like, those three left behind and no, no means of reviving the other two, unless I brought an item. Uh, yeah. <laughs> If, if I'm to- the most mileage, as funny as it would be to have the Omnipotent Orb on Shinji or Aegis, I'm gonna get more mileage out of putting it on my healer than anyone else. <laughs> exactly. And guess who's getting their Rouge Ring repa replaced with the second Almighty Badge that this game's gonna give me? Oh yeah, also the Reaper respawns. I see. Luckily, so outmaneuvering him is really not that hard. He doesn't move for two turns. And the way he moves is weird. Yep. He can't reach me. Mitsuru? If I gave the almighty badge to Mitsuru, that would actually make sense, but I was going to put it on Shinji. <laughs> Mercury. So the bottom one is copper. This one is mercury. I think the last one is silver? What if I just cheat and look it up? <laughs> Yeah, that's- that's what all the boxes are. Oats. What?
like there's something up ahead. Want to oh. check it out? An event. Yeah. It's mercury, lead, and copper. And I, I know what it is now, I'm pretty sure. Is the request hint. Yeah, find the treasure box that's on the first three floors of the clock tower that doesn't fit. And then the hint to find it. Glasses are A, lenses are B, spoons are A, knives are B, carrots are A, potatoes are B. Which, if you've played Persona 4, you know it's the same type of request as that funky student freaking thing, quiz, rhyme, riddle, whatever that you could do only once a day. And I never got right the first try, the first time, except on the first one. And I'm smashing A. <laughs> Tin robot we found on the first floor. Maybe this will fit it. As they say, Let's go, please. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I did all them right, all. Because <laughs> there was a request. A signal from the Reaper. Oh, please the Reaper's in here. Huh. But they aren't that scary. Switching to battle mode. Can you guys not? They're sort of the embodiment of Whoa, death chasing me. Perfection. They were never fun. That went disappointingly fast. Because they were brain teasers in a way that was kind of like just annoying sometimes. <laughs> Cut me off. Wow, I'm getting caught no matter what I do. Wow. That's what the go back more is for. <laughs> yeah. Or I'm at the stairs so I could just go back to the first floor. visual on an enemy FOE. Please stay on your guard. Uh oh. Whoops. You can beat this one now. Do you want to try? Well, we could probably kill it. <laughs> that one's weak against electricity. Why did it immediately open with Megidola? Weird. Well, I'm not in the path of the other one, so I may as well just kill this one. Leave it to me. It's no use. But uh, I know the answer. Because, uh, well, I looked it up, but I understand now why the why they're the way they are. But I always got, I, that's why I don't like those types of puzzles. Um, they can. In the in this one, they they have a chance to. Nice callback then. <laughs> but yeah, the the chest on the third floor is not silver; it's uh, lead. Not that that would have changed anything. The the chest that's the odd one out is copper. Because it's in Group A, while the other two chests are in Group B. Too easy. Oh wow! Magic bind. That's annoying. Impossible. Senpai, be careful! You can only use physical attacks! That's whatever. <laughs> Although he can't heat riser her. 
or I guess anymore, which is annoying. Activating ordeal mode. <laughs> Crush him, caster. But yeah, the reason why Copper's in Group A is just annoying. Because the thing is, is it's not... The hint is not that it's the same type of items, it's that they all just share a similar characteristic. And sometimes, especially for the funky student, they were like so vague that I almost didn't feel like there was a point. <laughs> just Hasatobi, honestly. <laughs> Persona, rise up. The battle has ended. To the surprise of no one. <laughs> battle complete. Well done. My persona is steadily improving. I know those stack, but that would be really good, but also, I don't think I have room. I mean, I could get rid of Bloody Vanguard, I guess, but that seems to be benefiting Shinji, and I'd prefer we not get rid of that. Are you all right? Please be sure to watch your. I see. So it's this way. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Balm of life. So I may as well stay. Let's go. Damn, there's an FOE over there. Okay, outmaneuvering the Reaper again. Let us proceed. I'm detecting an FOE signal. It's the Reaper. Okay. Oh, I forgot about the 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 robot. Oops. Ah oh, well. Heading forward. The Reaper is closing in on you. Please stay on your guard. Did that even change anything? I think I'm a signal no. from the Reaper. Please be careful. Three enemies. Let's make the first move. Seriously? Mm -hmm. This is what we have to deal with? Then <laughs> balm of death. Yamato <laughs> Kaperu! Perfection. We settled that quickly. Does? Oh, when he's in battle, okay. I was about to be like, whoa. But still, whoa. Something about that wall doesn't seem right. Let's okay, look now we will do the. There's the three of them, but they aren't that scary. You got guts. Come <gasps> at me. <laughs> yes, I will make sure not to use the embalm of death. It's over. 
you settled that quickly. Nice. Welcome to the level 80 club. Puka? Damn. There's an FOE over there. Oh yeah, Let's they don't go. respawn until you leave the labyrinth. Energetically is something the junk lying around. I see. Ah, uh, so it was a construction robot. I should. Oh no! <laughs> you should wait until it's done. <laughs> the snacks. That's very nice of her. A Delta Drive. What does that do? Robots who complete their duty, such as this one, stop moving. That's a sad explanation. Like the narration in a nature documentary. I actually do feel sorry for it. Will you stop moving too, Aichan? I will not know until the time comes. But I heard this saying once. When a goal is reached, a new goal will show itself. Those were Akihiko-san's words. I feel the same. I see. <laughs> Those are wonderful words. Indeed. Save Raychon first. I'm sure we'll find a new goal afterwards. Yes. Oh, yeah, that. Ugh. I think it was a bit overkill. But. Yeah, no, his income, not salary. I think it was a bit overkill, all things considered, since he also had to serve in prison anyway. It should be a flat amount, even if it's super high. Yeah, no, it's it's literally like they get 30% of everything he makes. Um, the dude was a hacker. He was illegally selling hacked copies of, like, Switches and games on the Switch. Um, he, what he did was 100% illegal, and he already had to serve, like, two years in prison for it. But once he got out... The lawsuit said that he needed to pay them 30% of his salary. Let's make the first move. Or his I income. 30% of his income. And for the rest of his life. And it's like... That's a little much. And it, some people are like... What he did was wrong. What he did was illegal. That went disappointingly fast. And some people are like, well, he's just being made an example of. Now. And I'm like, I don't think, I don't think <laughs> potentially ruining the guy's, like, life, even if, it, like, I don't know. It's just a little, it's a, it's, it's over the top. It's too much. I no longer need Chernabog equipped. That's what I've opened the menu for. <sighs> Time to work on Chiyu. Like, I'm not gonna defend or justify what the guy did in any capacity. How- however... It is a treasure box. There's a line! Do you wish that we open it? Shall I destroy it? And that line was crossed, I think. Nintendo always gets weird about their intellectual properties, even for people who Look aren't out. doing things that are that are necessarily <laughs> illegal. That's scary. If you need demolishing, I'm your man. Like fan HD 
things of games that are dead, essentially, or YouTube videos. I don't know. I, I just... <laughs> With the recent, like, upcoming... Every time a new, like, and I mean this, every time a major Nintendo release happens, Nintendo gets really, like guarded about their pre-existing IPs, and they'll, like, go on this spree of, ooh, a game is about to come out, better copyright strike and remove every video in existence to a game that's completely unrelated, but we own. Like, uh, I don't watch too much of his content, but Point Crow had made an announcement video about how because he assumes it's because Tears of the Kingdom is so close to release, they just, like, had told YouTube, hey, uh, watch out for people who might have, like, gotten an, who might be trying to do Tears of the Kingdom content. But it's, like, messing with... No, he's not the Skyrim Glitch person. He does a lot of, like, he plays a lot of Pokemon-related games, as well as... He's a Breath of the Wild speedrunner. He does a lot of modded stuff for that. What I'm- what I'm, the main thing is, is like, Breath of the Wild is- the first one is pretty- not an old game, but it's been a few years since it came out. And there were people who were doing a lot of content around it. Long after the game's initial launch. Things like pushing the game to its absolute limits, adding like a multiplayer- PvP type of mod, and making the game ridiculously hard, making the game chaotic, as well as just doing a bunch of different types of speedruns of the game. And so there was a huge community built around that, and now that Tears of the Kingdom's release is imminent, they've started copyright striking like anything pertaining to Breath of the Wild, the first game. And they do this every time. Like, it's, it's, it's still annoying, and I feel like it should still be mentioned that it doesn't make any sense whatsoever, but this is not the first time they've done that. Where, like, when the first Breath of the Wild was imminent to release, they did the same thing, and they went after anything, anything Nintendo-related. A lot of random Legend of Zelda and even Mario games that were just getting struck for no reason. It's just what Nintendo does, and it doesn't make sense. They've been- they're- they're very, very big brother about their IPs, but only during certain times. Like, the- the part that's annoying is, is like, at least be consistent. Basically, every time there's, like, a wave of people going like, Hey, all my stuff pertaining to this particular thing is getting copyright struck. Usually means that Nintendo is about to announce something pertaining to that. And without fail, every single time, someone's like, Oh, hey, all of my- all, the entire soundtrack for Earthbound and Mother 3 just got nuked off of the internet. Specifically YouTube. They do an announcement for some, like, game that comes out on their... <laughs> Nintendo does what Sega Dream can't. <laughs> and it's just like... It's so bizarre. It's... I don't know how- I don't know what the word I'm looking for specifically is, but it's just... <laughs> but yeah, they, they basically give themselves away even when they have yet to announce anything. And for people who are content creators, or who or just do things that are transformative with the already existing thing, it's like, why though? Overprotective, yeah. Overprotective. Way too much. It's the stairs! Let's hurry up and take them! <laughs> And it looks like you've got this floor mostly doesn't out make you. sense in the scope of 
the internet nowadays. Like, you, you can't... I mean, you can, because they've been doing it, but you shouldn't do that every time a new game is about to come out, that you just, like, blacklist every piece of content that a content creator has made of something that is from the same series, but is not the game itself. It just... Huh? It's like... <laughs> it's like... Say... To be relevant... Uh, to what I'm doing right now. It's like saying that when... The Phantom X officially releases... Atlas is gonna go out of their way to copyright strike and and uh, remove and, and force people to private all their Persona 5 content. It's a very backwards mentality. Yeah, it leaves a bad taste in your mouth is a, is another way. People did stream the end of five. Me, yes. We, it. we should be able to defeat it. However, I don't know. The being the pr being protective about the ending of a new game makes sense, but once it's been a while, that's when I'm like, I don't know, man. And that's what they did for um, portable. They told people, please put uh, spoilers tags in your in your streams and on your YouTube videos for portable, which I already feel like that doesn't make any sense innately because Portable is an older game. Like, a way older game. But there was a- there was a time period in which... Um... Atlas wouldn't let you stream the end game content- or they said that they wouldn't let you stream the end game content- content. Oh yeah, cause th that's the thing, it's like, with the scope of the way the internet is... Unless a game is terrible, most people who watch somebody play a game are more compelled to buy and play the game themselves. Yeah, also the age of the of games. Yes, they do. They do. They're still very like that with music. And Nintendo is a, is a Japanese-owned company. But it's like, it's different, it's as, as opposed to companies like Atlas or Spike Chunsoft, where they're like, yeah, our, our, our games are very heavily story-based, but we know that we have a huge Western audience, and we want to keep that Western audience. They take measures to be like, at least put in spoilers tags, or they just don't care. Nintendo is very different. And hey, they're one of the biggest of the bunch. <laughs> so I guess they can do whatever the fuck they want. Doesn't make it right, but... But yeah, I don't hate Nintendo, but I certainly have a bit of a like-dislike. Or maybe in the lighter terms, a love-hate. Not just like a- like, I don't despise them. But they have some very questionable business practices, and every time something new happens, they, they just revert and do that. And then they'll back off. And it's just like, be one or the other. That's my issue, is they, is they waffle. They can't make up their mind whether they like content creators doing stuff with their IPs, or if they hate it. And it's like, but... <laughs> Where is Heat Riser? There it is. No 
They have some very questionable business practices. I heat rise, I guess. Now? Yes, because she's going to Orgia next turn. Yes, she is. That is exactly what she is going to do. He's knocking the full coming. Keep going, Orgia mode. <laughs> Crush him, caster. <laughs> 3,000 damage, holy Come fucking on. shit, and that wasn't even a crit. Come, Yamato Kikaru. Oh, please, thank you. I guess his Orgia mode is amazing. Her power has dramatically increased. I shall attack relentlessly. Ah, this is so sad. I guess Masuka Kaja, even though I'm pretty sure she's moving first. Now the real question is, is do I flame link this thing or do I Hasotobi it? I think I Hasotobi it. Another compound eye, and now I don't have to outmaneuver that one. I think I have to follow it this way. Yes. All right. Time Instead of go. having to pay attention to both of them. Oh my god, a switch. Oh god. Twelve. Oh, that's why, because there wasn't a twelve button. <laughs> Lol. You stepped on a panel with the number twelve drawn on it. What the? Whoa, the floor sunken? Hey, now that I look at it, there's a number written on the floor. What's this 12 about? Is it some kind of trap? Yamagishi, we need a situation report. Um... um I don't sense any dangerous changes. <laughs> what? <laughs> you had Mario teaches typing on your family computer. The top of the screen constantly alternate between Apple and Mario. <laughs> That's such an interestingly uh, unique and yet incredibly oddly specific <laughs> glitch. <laughs> um, I don't sense any dangerous changes. I see. This could be another of those bizarre puzzles. Twelve. What could this number mean? Hmm. <laughs> but you don't know what you did! Aww! Can't do more than speculate about it here. We must proceed cautiously, step by step. Mario teaches typing. There's three of them. I forgot that there were games that exist that were like that. Wasn't there one for Sonic, too? It was called, like, Sonic Schoolhouse or something like that. 
Although I think that one was even more bare minimum than <laughs> that went disappointing. Than the Mario that. teaches typing. As in, like, it was borderline possibly ripped from an already existing, like, elementary level type game on your computer. <laughs> but Sonic was there. <laughs> oh. Koromaru-san says that he heard those gates come down. Yes, I see them. Oh, you're right. Does this mean they were open until a moment ago? And how does this relate to that switch labeled 12? Well, when we step on six... One, two, three, four, five, six! Yep. Fast typing game is typing of the dead! <laughs> Please take a look. I call it Koromaru. Son frightened by his tail almost caught in the gate. Uh, what's with the title? Of See, course. so there is a time limit. Well, it's not much of an obstacle so long as we get through the gate within the time limit. You have Typing of the Dead? Still haven't played it? It's kind of like a... It's a rail shooter, but... It's a rail shooter set in a zombie apocalypse. But instead of having to aim, you have to type words. Yeah, it's how yeah, it's House of the Dead too, but you type words instead of shooting. You kill zombies with your ability to spell quickly. <laughs> but for that, we'll need to observe our surroundings carefully. We better make sure not to walk around aimlessly. The shadows have gotten pretty strong, you know. Koro-chan, make sure you keep your tail tucked in, okay? Yes. A treasure box. There might be something inside. Except right. there isn't. Time to go. When you tell everyone to take a break, Yosuke comes up to talk to you. Hey, what do you think about Kanji? He's quite the He's adorable, and I mean that unironically, but I feel like that would just upset. <laughs> You're right. He is impressive. I just thought I learned a lot from him during this. You heard what he said to Ken, right? He said you're free to think what you want. No one has the answers for you, so think for yourself. No matter how much oppression he's facing, he always does his best to stand up against it by himself. I mean, I don't think it was a- I don't think it was a kid's game. I think it was supposed to be a, a joke. Because there's- I think there's swearing in it! <laughs> like, it does actually- it does actually kind of teach you to type, but I'm pretty sure it's- it's trying to be sarcastic. <laughs> Felt like what he said to Ken really got across that true inner strength of his. If it wasn't, then it's the funniest game in the universe for trying for thinking that for trying to take itself seriously despite that. But I'm fairly certain it's supposed it's supposed to be a bit of a gag. I didn't know he always thought about things that way. Especially considering when you see the characters running around with, like, keyboards that are, like, so shoulder strapped over them, and they just type at the enemies. It's not like, oh, we have guns, but the player is typing. They literally run around with portable keyboards typing at zombies. <laughs> That's pretty great. It's, it's a beautiful visual image. <laughs> Then again, it's not just Kanji. Risei and Naoto are younger too, but I feel like they're way stronger than me. Chia and Yukiko never back down from what they believe in. And whatever Teddy says, he's a good guy. After he heard about Rei-chan, 
he was off crying by himself. <laughs> Rise, what are you crying for? It's the way you're saying this. It's all wrong. Hey, that's mean. I don't want you saying such nice things. I don't like it because it sounds like you're about to die. Huh? Sorry, that's not how I meant it. You gotta be laughing like an idiot all the time, Yosuke-senpai. It helps everyone relax when they hear you laughing things off. That's why, when things are no laughing matter, you need to keep laughing like an idiot. <laughs> then we can all do our best. So you can you laugh, laugh like an idiot, idiot from, from the bottom, bottom of your heart. Rize, I know where you're coming from, but the way you worded that... Right. By the way, you're leaning pretty hard on the laugh like an idiot thing. I'm not that reckless. Hello? Pretty sure she hung up. Damn it, she cut the comm off. Hey, partner, is she right about me always laughing like an idiot? You're so cool. <laughs> Understand the idea of context? Where the hell did that come from? I'm just letting you know. Yosuke is flustered. Man, Reese is such a nice girl. She's got a keen eye, but you don't get nervous when she trains it on you. Hey, maybe what's good about me is that I'm blessed with the friends I have. Amen, brother. Anyway, I'm gonna do my best to be someone I can be proud of around those guys. Let's go, partner. Ah! There's three of them, but they aren't that scary. Those are the ones if you Ready when you are, partner. Bless, right? Oh, but that one blocks bless, so I have to use curse. And let's go save Ray. <laughs> That went disappointingly fast. I just like one character that is that char when character has level-headed moment. Especially considering hey, isn't that a Yoshi's actually box? fairly, <laughs> fairly level-headed. He just sometimes gets ahead of himself. Repulse alloy. Okay. I assume you that key item is to fuse a specific ahead. persona Open fire. that I already have. There's definitely something up His with philosopher wall moment, yes. Let's go see. Hmm, yes, I see. Hmm, yes. Wait. One, two, three, four, five, six. Nope, that's not enough. I need to step on the 12 button. Now I remember why this shortcut was here. It's a good thing I killed that FOE. Yeah, look what we Heading forward. Let's go. So now I can walk without fear. <laughs> Looks like there's an FOE. No! Ah! Ah! A rare one. Don't let it get away. Let us be cautious. <laughs> I guess whispering. Yeah, she hit it once. Oh, also, Toby hits eight times. She's either gonna miss all of them or she's gonna hit at least some of them. Wow, she missed every single one. Fear of a mild inconvenience that is no real threat. Do it again. Seriously? Now, if Mitsuru were here, she'd be agility binding, but, uh. And then she crit. Okay. Good job. The results of the battle are compiled. <laughs> we don't need a uh, Mama Zoom.
could meet Suru Jilly Blind and Lulala. Shall we examine potentially? I've located a power spot. Shall we go to it? Thank you. Let's go. Oh, right, I see. Uh. <sighs> There's so many dead ends. Let's just have to head back and find another way. Oh, one moment, please. What could this button be for? Why not try pushing this button? If being pushy doesn't work, you could then give it some space. First and foremost, that's not how you use that phrase. And anyway, it's probably for the best that we don't push this obviously suspicious button. I mean, it's as big as your face. That's a no. huge button. No, I guess may have a point. Huh? Huh? I'm usually the careful one around here. <laughs> Even I get tired of being the prize pupil sometimes. And second of all, we didn't delete those pun files. No. In our journeys here, I've realized that caution isn't everything. One must be bold at times. We haven't pushed this button yet. We can always step away afterwards. So I guess was exactly correct. Huh. huh. <laughs> all right then, Mitsuru-san. You want to do the honors? Huh? Very well. I'm pushing it now. Everyone, be prepared for anything. Aha! <sighs> I see. This wall is built like a piston. This button seems to control its vertical movement. I found myself holding my breath in suspense. This concludes Mitsuru-san's first pushing of a button. <sighs> But there's a time and a place. <laughs> I mean, the Persona 5 cast knows one in the form of Wolf, but... <laughs> Three and four never got to interact with an... Well, unless you count Arena, in which then four interacted with a whole slew of adults, but the Persona 3 cast... The one adult they thought they could trust killed the other adult- only adult they thought they could trust, and then jumped off of Tartarus. Hmm, if the wall went up, we might be blocking something on the next floor now. We should keep an eye out. Alright, shall we proceed? Yes. Aren't those the stairs over there? Three of us. Oh, A drive shadow. Come, Yamato Kikaru. Perfection. You settled that quickly. Yeah. Someone who can just. Are you okay carrying that much? Shh. It's okay. Organization is important. I'm too. about to go to the next floor. Don't worry about it, Fuga. It's fine. Please be careful. Everyone! I'm sensing the presence of the Reaper on this floor, too. Looks like they're not playing around anymore. Okay. <laughs> Don't worry! We might not look like it, but we're used to rescuing folks. Chie. Just keep your mind on when we reach the summit. And you're reunited with Ray. Hmm. Sorry. Or rather, thank you. <laughs> what better time than now to show the results of our training? Let's go, Chie. <laughs> right away, Master! Okay. You've gotten most of the information about this floor by now. What does the Enduring Wing do? Whew. Hmm. I'd have that in my inventory. Shall see. Probably have new uh, requests as well. Welcome. Nope, we don't. I see. Yeah, glasses are A, while lenses are B. Spoons are A, while knives are B. 
carrots are A while potatoes are B. Each of the words in the A category has two of the same letter together, like the R in carrots. Once you figure this out, looking at the words copper, mercury, and lead. Copper belongs in A, while mercury and lead belong in B. Therefore, the treasure box that did not fit with the others would be the one located on the first floor. By the way, I've removed the locks and contents from the remaining treasure boxes. Do not worry. This will be your reward. Cool. Now... Yeah. A force to be reckoned to with. <laughs> what? <laughs> Elizabeth? Ginger is almost level 90. Oh. Please come again. Okay, there's a cab. Okay, go. Still, that's a lot. I assume it's from the calculated losses. At least, I assume. There's really no way to know for sure, but... Unless they showed us their calculations and how much was lost. But they're not going to do that. Welcome to the Velvet Room. Another Marie poem! Continued song of the fallen angel. I set my controller down. The fallen angel descended to purgatory. Oh, you're sleeping on the bed! One wing drags the ground, covered in lies. Yet she remains pure. He hasn't been jumping on the Do bed you know because of the leg thing, but he's on the bed right now. Will she perish in despair? Within the fake lies? Meaning he's behind me. <laughs> within the smears of masks? No! Those who inherit her flame will rise, one after another. They shall stand, hear their songs of lament. They will become roars and quake the tainted lands. From beyond the darkness, the time of reckoning Get will closer. come. <laughs> Here comes the hour of judgment. A beautiful poem. Place, a new world. Shatter all vanity and call to her. Oh. Call out to she who ushers in the end. That's right. Her name is. What is it? Nintendo moment. Prisoners still have- Nintendo, do not do that, please. <laughs> Could Marie have written this poem as well? Yeah! You're seriously unbelievable! How could you read even a freshly written one? When did you write this? I mean, why do you keep reading them? What are you, stupid? Are you gonna offer a song of lament? You should give it a rest, Marie. Prisoners in the Hama, maybe all, someone else got the hour of too. judgment will come. Ugh. I mean- Maybe it's just because that was the only one they caught, so they want to make an example of him, but that's not really going to stop people. <laughs> yeah. What? That's probably why they did it then, yeah. They're like, you're the only one we caught, you're the one who's going to pay, and the others will hopefully be intimidated by this motion, so that way they don't keep doing what they've been doing. Wait! Judgment? But depending on the mentalities of the people involved, they're probably still gonna keep doing it because they'll have- they'll still be carrying the confidence of, it wasn't me. <sighs> Some may be intimidated out of it, but not everyone. Anyway, I hate you, fallen angel! Stop reading my stuff without permission! Marie is blushing. In any case, what would you like to do? 
I would like to extract a skill card from Chernabog. Uh, let's see. Yeah, Infinite Link from Chiyu is something that I want. However, I would like to Fusion Surge. Metatron, that's probably what it is. Or Sandalfin. Mahakala, Satan. Wow, I really can't make anything, like, crazy? Not really. Um, I know I need Beelzebub, because the fly piece is, is clearly Beelzebub. I was... Do I have that? Guess I don't need... Oh right, that's the... The best one is the one that I guess has... That one's pretty funny. <laughs> Maybe. Delta Drive is pretty good, but I don't think I need it. And it sells for pretty good compared to... I need to store that balm of life. <laughs> but you know what I am gonna buy? Oh. So it's just armor. That increases how much EXP you gain. Yes, uh... You have it, you have it, you have it, you have it. Okay. It's true! Behold! Am I gonna end stream with more money than I started twice in a row? That's... Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. We shall see. I need to look at the weapons. I need to murder my Yoshitsune. This is very sad. I need to get Beelzebub and murder it. I need to re-summon Vishnu and murder it. I need a Seraph Wing and I need to look up which one, whether it's Metatron or Sandalphon. I don't think I need the Megiddo gun. And then I need... Mitsuru, we already have the goddess of obsidian. <laughs> Mitsuru. <laughs> yes. Tangled thread probably comes from a specific enemy. We know the giant sword comes from the... Wait. Is it the Minotaur? I wonder if it's the Minotaur. Nope, bull chain, bull horn. Yeah, no. There's there's something that I'm missing. I don't know how to get the tangled thread, but we'll see. We'll see how. Oh. 
But everybody that I plan to bring has their best armor, so that's good. You know what I'm actually gonna... I know I have Yoshitsune. Um... I need to register him. Oh, he's gonna be so expensive. Oh no, that's... Goodbye, Yoshitsune. Or, it's not extract skills, it's sacrifice spread, which means I need to grab Vishnu. Where are you? There you are. Pain. Oh, this is painful. We'll put it on Chiyu. Wait, what? Oh, I did the wrong one! I got rid of Futsumushi, and I didn't register him in the compendium. So if I grab him, he's gonna be, like, down here, isn't he? Or, no, he's he's up higher, that's right. Aww. He lost Swordbreaker. He had all his skills. Oh, it hurts. <laughs> Wondering if I've made anything before. And by before, I mean, like, did I make the... Well, let me grab something that's not crazy high level. So I don't lose even more. Well, yeah, no, let me grab the cheapest thing. It's just this Epsaris. <laughs> Am I gonna have the money to register him again? Because it was supposed to be Yoshitsune, not Futsunushi. Sad. Uh, and the, um, I can only get grab one. Ah. Yeah, it it shouldn't hurt, but at the same time, it's like he had skills, and then now he doesn't again. And it's just sad times all around. Okay, um, items, because we have Miggy. We're gonna do Death Scythe first. There we go. Miggy Dolon. In place of Miggy Dola.
think I need anything else. For the surprise of no one, only the heavy armor sells for any amount of money. <laughs> Tsunushi again. Welcome. <sighs> Does Loki give an item? Also, 88% completion. Let's fucking go. I'm going to save, because it's been a little while since I did! <laughs> Mint Link is 160. She doesn't have a fourth one. She has quadruple link. And if I gave her infinite link, she could have which give which has golden link. Asatobi is really good though, so I don't know if I'll actually do that. We shall see. Let's go on some strolls. Hurry, but not too much. The food court. A number of your companions are gathered here, but they seem quiet. Hey, man. What do you think about this whole we're gonna disappear thing? Uh... The idea of everything I ever did or said not existing is just... <laughs> it, it makes me laugh. It's hard to imagine. Mm. I agree. It was sprung on us so suddenly. <sighs> if I was to disappear... Could it mean that my mom never gave birth to me? Would she have had another child and raised them instead? <sighs> Hearing that definitely threw me for a loop. I had a very similar and yet more concerned mental process just then when he mentioned his mom. <laughs> she wouldn't have died. Hey Shinji, do you need a hug right now? <sighs> I know we can't get impatient, but now I keep thinking we have to get up there as fast as we can. I'm sorry we won't have time to head back. I worry, rather, we won't have time to get back. What? I'm tired, man. What the fuck was that? Uh, that's... Uh, even if we get tired. I can understand that. You're all actually fighting, so it must be mentally grueling. <sighs> Just shut up and rest. There's no way we can get through that whole thing without any breaks. Yes. Yes, it's just like Tartarus. As much as we'd wish to tackle it all at once, we must head back many times before we can reach the top. Mm. Well, yeah, because we get tired much faster while we're there. <sighs> what I'm trying to say is everyone has their limits. Those who don't know theirs will pay a stiff price for it. We gotta rest up when we can so we can fight when we need to. That's the important thing. It's not like we're superheroes who can do everything. Shinjiro, senpai. <laughs> cool down time is crucial, especially when it matters most. Even I guess has to cool down after Orgia mode, yeah? Um... That's a bit different. He's right, though. If we drive ourselves to the point of collapse, then we're really screwed. Ah, yeah, I see your point. 
<laughs> yes, that's what makes you guys our senpai. I feel like I learned a lot just now. Hmm, something about that feels offensive, though I can't quite say why. Anyway, let's rest up now and then head back to that clock tower. Yeah. Oh! That's kind of cool. I mean, there's no way to know. That's probably just like, that's probably Shinji's intrusive thought that's going on right now. It's all that I'm worried about, or just what I, that was the mental picture of, oh my god, he, that probably crossed his mind at some point. Because you know it would. It looks like your companions are taking a break. <laughs> oh, speak of the devil. Hey, partner. What's this all about? <laughs> we were just talking about your partner. Yosuke? Now that you mention it. Yosuke Senpai was all bummed out because he made Rise cry. Come on. I wasn't crying. I don't have a single tear to shed for Yosuke Senpai. Don't have to go that far. But he's being so stupid. He always puts himself last, always gets himself in trouble. I'm afraid he might just vanish one day. Now that I think well, about I guess it. that does sound like him. That's actually terrifying. What the fuck? Hmm. Yosuke's a jerk sometimes, but he's actually got a big heart. I mean, he even lets Teddy live at his place. I was surprised that he was okay with that. So he's really a nice guy? Huh. I don't need him to be that nice. That's why he's an idiot. Yes, it's frustrating how stupid he can be sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> I see. Hmm? You realize Yosuke is standing behind you? Hey. Come on, guys. Don't you think you're being way too harsh on me? Oh, so you were listening. Who cares? They were complimenting you. Oh, how the goodness. hell is that a compliment? All I heard was them saying how stupid I am. Oh, that's all you heard? That's a shame. See? Stupid. Yep. He's an idiot, all right. Uh, 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 uh. You decide to leave Yosuke, who is on the verge of tears, be? Aww. Oh, yeah, Val's right behind me. Well. Oh my god, it's 9 p.m. I was about to go back into the. I was about to go back into the labyrinth. <laughs> How much money do I have? Okay. We fixed it. I have no money. <laughs> Amazing. Val sneaking up on me to tell me the time. Yeah. He did get closer. Yeah. 40k for a piece of the Reaper. Ooh, I want to fight him so badly, but he, we barely won that. Kinda. I did, but I have to do it again if I want more pieces. Okay, so I'm gonna have to either look this up again or just remember. The Reaper dies when he is killed. I wish. <laughs> I wish. Actually, I could just favorite these and just put it in the bookmarks bar and then delete it when I no longer need it. Behold. I have done it. Amazing. At least two more streams. Who knows? <laughs> Pretty sure it's gonna be more than that. But there's no guarantee. 
It might be, it might be shorter even, honestly, but I'm taking my time with the floors because I don't want to miss any strolls, don't want to miss any requests. Uh, there are some extra things that I apparently never fought. Like those three mystery ones. One of them is the Reaper, for sure. Has to be. But I don't know what the other two are. And I want everyone's best weapon this time around. But we're getting there. Soon, everyone will have all the skills they need. Last last but not least, I need to figure out what fourth skill I want to put. Yeah, and I want to fill out the compendium. I actually kind of want- I really want to do that, actually. And it's, it seems like I'm going to end up doing that, because I need to fuse uh, personas like Beelzebub and stuff like that. Max level for everyone. I- assuming it's 99, that's very attainable. Hilariously, I could buy the- those gears that, like, have everyone's stats but double their EXP. <laughs> and I can- and I can see if that impacts people who are in the back row but have, like, growth or something. And by the back row, I mean in the reserve. I don't know why I said in the back row. Because there's a front row and a back row in my main party. Oh, words. But yes, say goodbye to YouTube, everyone, because uh, we're we're wrapping up. It's 9. It's 9 p.m. It's late. Goodbye, YouTube. Goodbye.